Okay, it's spinning up. We're live. We're live. We're on the air. <laughs> Hope you got on your big girl panties. Texas size, Texas size. Texas size big girl panties. Live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios, Who Moved My Freedom podcast, numero 63. Number sixty-three. And oh, there's, a, there's, there's a special. There's a special number. I'm sorry to interrupt. There's a special number coming up. Uh -oh. We gotta. We gotta look out for that special number coming up. What's the we special? Gotta, oh, you don't know. We'll keep on the sixties. Keep going. Oh, Come on now. 66, ah! 66? No, 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 no. No, sixty-nine. Oh, that's got a special one there. Oh, yeah. Okay. What are you doing for episode sixty-nine? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. We got six more episodes. <laughs> <laughs> And in case you can't tell, we've got Walter Keller from Safety Harbor Firearms with us. Yep, the boss for you. Yeah. Oh, same, same old stuff, you know. Just it's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Yeah. You should be back in the groove by now. It's Monday. Yeah. You should be in the groove. We also have Kevin Dixie, NLC Firearms Training. What up, Kevin? What's going on, good people? Okay, live from the St. Louis. Yeah. Sens sensibility. Yeah, yeah. The, the, our yeah. own personal St. Louis lunatics. <laughs> did you, did you know? I heard you know. I heard you know Nelly. Is that true? Um, no, I don't. Know. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 So much. You would have that. gotten extra credit for that. All right. So tonight, <laughs> tonight we're talking about uh, what happened at baguette et chocolat. That's about all the French accent you're gonna get out of me. And most of you guys out there are probably like, "What the hell is a baguette de chocolate?" And uh, it's a story that I think, um, you know, we try to do stories here that we feel like are just starting to get hot so that by the time of the rest of the world catches up with it and when it's big news, it's all we already news. hit you with it, you know? Yes, right. um, just like, you remember a couple of days ago we were talking about that Amazon thing where some amp dude put on Amazon the uh, full auto thing for the Glock? Oh, yeah. yeah. Or it's an <laughs> ATF setup or whatever. So everyone's sharing that, but you know where you heard about it first. It's all over now. That's right. You heard about it on the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. That's where you heard about it. Uh, Patrick R., by the way, that wrote that article, will be uh, joining us on Wednesday. So we're going to ask him about that. Now, so this whole baguette de chocolat or ish, what is it? Oh, You're ish. making me hungry. You keep saying that. Yeah. So what this whole story is, roughly, we're going to talk about it a little bit more once we get into the groove of everything. But just for people joining us, you can search this. Um, it's in Austin, Texas. It's a bakery, pastry place that the owner from um, The Truth About Guns, he likes to go to that place. And I guess in Austin, Texas, you can tell people or you could put up a sign in your business saying that you don't want anyone open carrying or concealed carrying in your business. Mm -hmm. So it's about that. That's, a, that's all I'm giving you. You guys go look up the stories. Um, you can search it. Uh, there's an article on the truth about guns about this. And uh, let me see, what is that article called? Now I got to find. Now I got to find that article. Here we go. That article is called "Question of the Day: Do You Boycott Gun-Free Zone Businesses?" Hmm. So that's kind of like what we're going to be talking about here. Do you guys boycott it or not? But there's other places that have already picked up this story, and it's starting to get heated up. Like I said, and and you can search. Um, Austin Bakery's Facebook page becomes gun rights battleground. So there's a there's a quite a few stories about it out there. We will talk about this. Um, before we get into all that, I want to thank everyone who's hanging out with us behind the scenes and chat. Guys, make sure you say what's up to everyone in there. I will do a roll call here in a second. So if you want me to shout you out, definitely make a comment in there. But um, here's what I want you to do. Do you see that thumbs up? Click that thumbs up. Oh, yeah. yeah Click yeah. it. And then make sure you share this video on your social media with your peoples. Peeps. Friends, family. I don't, you know, I don't care. Enemies, anti-gun <laughs> people that you might know that might be in your life. <laughs> Democrats, liberals, <laughs> whoever. Yeah, spread, yeah. spread the gospel. Spread yeah, the gospel. spread it around. We're evangelizing here for the Second Amendment. <laughs> oh, so help us yeah. out. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> make sure you are subscribed to Hank Strange Situation. And, uh, you know, while you're doing all of that, make sure you subscribe to Safety Harbor Firearms on YouTube, as well as we NOC that. Firearms Training on yep. YouTube. Yep. That yep. would be yep. Kevin. Yep. And uh, Safety Harbor would be, of course, Walter. Yes, I am. There you go. So um, so what's up with you guys? What you guys do over the weekend? Uh, well, before we, uh, well, Walter, you go ahead, because I got to. Well, you had some, ex well, 
Let me see. Saturday, I came up and visited the Hacienda with Mr. Strange. Oh, that's and right. We did a lot of shooting. We busted some caps and sweat yeah. our butt off. It was hot out. Yeah. Um, you, you came up there in a little tiny, like, almost a clown car size. <laughs> oh, no, the Abarth is not a clown car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the Abarth 500. I like it. But, you know, with you yeah, and a bunch of guns in there, it gets small. Well, I had little guns, so I didn't need a big car. You know, it was all by my yeah. lonesome too this time. Right, so. right, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would have liked get... to have gotten a drive in the Abarth or, or like done a video for the people in the Abarth, but you know. Yeah, but you're not a stick driver, so you're gonna have a hard time. Man. No, I can. Uh, excuse me, I can drive. Okay, 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 okay. That's the first car I learned how to drive. Every man, every real man, should know how to drive a stick. Yes, yeah, sir. That's what because I. Because you never know, you might get in a situation, you gotta jump into one. Yeah, and you it, better and know how to drive a stick. Yeah. I learned how to drive in a stick shift. Yeah, I just I, I drive it, man. I just you know I mean. Well, most of the most of the younglings now don't know how to do it because um, first thing they don't do it in the military no more. Those are all automatics in the military, so they don't yeah. have to learn how to do it. And yeah, yeah, so these kids nowadays they're yeah, so they got terrible. it so easy. I'll be honest yeah. with you, my my boys can't drive a stick. I keep telling them I you know I the, my last stick shift that I had was a Honda S two thousand. Which is pretty badass. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I used to drift that thing like all over the house. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, you're asking about the weekend. So I came up and saw you on Saturday. And then right. on Sunday, uh, went out to breakfast. And then me and my boys went to uh, my sons, went to uh, Celebration Station and I'd ride the go karts and play some goof, some, uh, some I call goofy golf or whatever, you know. Uh, yeah. Just have some fun and goof off. I we were saw supposed that. We were supposed to do it on my birthday, and something came up, and we didn't go. So, um, yeah, okay. we played played all the games inside and won the tickets and, and got yeah, some and course, you You weren't here on Friday, but you've been partying this whole weekend. Because Friday <laughs> was your son Spencer's birthday. Yep, yep. We had a party for Spencer. It turned out really well. A bunch of people came out. We bowled. We had fun. Right. That's good. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. so he's uh, 18 now, huh? Yeah, 18. He's legal in all. All 50 so states, as I see. Is he moving out? Is he getting oh, out of no, the house? No, no, no. Oh, we're waiting for him to graduate high school. Then we're kicking him out. No, we ain't kicking him out, but that ain't going to happen pretty soon, I don't think. So. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't watch this, right? No, no. Sometimes, no. yeah. But Sometimes he hears me in the background saying something about him. He might come <laughs> in there and complain, <laughs> complain about it. You could always send him to live with Will. I mean, oh, I don't think that'll work very long. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you what did you get up to, uh, Kevin? What you get up to this weekend? Uh, I, I, played, was, I played a kind of quiet this weekend due to the um, the protests and riots in St. Louis. Uh, right. So, I just got the family. We we stayed pretty close to the house. We ventured out a little bit, but nothing too far. Um, it, it was just uh, it was interesting. I know I did a, a summary video kind of at the end of the weekend because, in all honesty, despite what the news might put up. It wasn't as bad as everybody thought. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't nearly. It was. I would definitely say this was more protest and disruption than chaos and rioting. So that's oh, good. Definitely. That's good. That's a good yeah, thing. That's, yeah. a good thing. that's what we want, right? Like, if you're gonna do it, do it right. And I would say 99.9% mm -hmm. .9 of the people did. Now you had some people acted out, of course, to be expected. Uh, but it was pretty good. But I played it pretty close to the house. Uh, the most, one of the most, it wasn't the first time it happened, but I found it interesting. I was having um I did a video last night, just decided to do a Facebook live video and did a video pretty much telling everybody uh, you know, uh stay calm and I was kind of calling out the people that were hitting me up in various forms, asking me how come I'm not out there training people. I should be training people. Yeah, I heard that some people think that you're like, you know, you're soft or something because you're not incite inciting rioting or fighting. Yeah, so I got yeah. I got um I got called soft a couple of times because if I was right. a real man, I think was the terminology that was used at one point. If I was That's a real man, I'd be teaching the people how to fight the man, and I wouldn't be telling them to stay calm. Enough time for peace. Get out there and start, you know, busting some heads and you know. Yeah. Uh, all real that. men are responsible for their actions. <laughs> real, yeah. real, real yeah. know when real men so, know when to when to fight and when not to fight. Yeah. And that's not a time to fight. Yeah. So, yeah. You know I when to hold that. them, know when to fold them. Yeah, there you go. You know, and I, I didn't. I, I I found these people comical, right? Because you can't. And it was it was. A, I, I want to say one interesting thing that happened, but it's it's funny when you start when people start talking like that because. I'm like, well, what I do and how well I know I can do it, I don't go out trying to prove that to anybody. And what they're doing is two things, right? I either trying to get you on their side to get you out and 
they want to control you, right? I always say people want to be the puppet master. They're always jealous when they think somebody yeah, else yeah. push your buttons. Yeah. yeah, and then two, you want me to then or jump out of character and prove to you, the individual, saying that that I'm tough. So either way, it's a lose lose for me. So why do you think I'm going to yeah. give you attention? Now here's my test of you: Are you a real man or not? Can you drive a stick? I can. <laughs> You can? I can. I learn how to drive in a stick. There you go. You're a man. You That's it. Go. No. There's yeah. no more questions after that as far as I'm concerned. You don't need to do anything else. <laughs> yeah, dude, you don't need to say. Lola is over here complaining to me because she's, she's like, oh, did you tell people that you forced me to learn how to drive, out, drive a stick? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, I that was drive. a requirement of being married to me. You must That's know a, how to drive a stick. That's a survival thing. Yeah. And I'm going to make my boys learn how to drive a stick, too. I just need to buy one, which is this is a good excuse to buy a stick shift. You need to get you a Jeep, then. Yeah, I think so, man. I think we need a Jeep. Yeah, a Jeep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if Kevin can drive a stick, he's a man. No more questions, right, Kevin? <laughs> no, no more questions about that. And it was in the snow, by the way. But this, uh, this one. It's a what? Wait, wait, hold on a second. It's a what? <laughs> in the snow. I don't have to drive. Oh, something. shit. You got me there. Hold on a second. Wait. <laughs> what was you got that? me. What was this vehicle? <laughs> it was a uh, it was a nineteen eighty nine Plymouth Champion. You'll have to Google it. You remember the Dodge Omni? Yeah. It was yeah. the Plymouth version of it. Yeah. Oh, wow. those are, what are those? Oh, what are those disposable cars? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so they made a they made a car called the Champion because I have an RV called the Champion. The Al the, Al the Omni's kind of like um, VW Rabbit size. Oh. The video thing. Yeah, it's a little video thing. Nice. Not nice. in it. Uh, but this this one young lady, um, and she I won't say her name, but she did put up that she works for the for Temple University. Uh, I asked her a simple question. She started getting off off subject. I was like, look, I'm not about to create more felons in the story. You know, we can create good people if you want to change the law. Let's let's breed up these young people to become lawyers and attack it that way or become policemen or whatever. But, you know, not not felons. That's not the way to go. No. This person responded to me and I'm paraphrasing, but I put it out on Facebook and uh, Instagram that I work for Temple University, a company that generates $6.8 billion a year, and they hire felons because felonies aren't necessarily bad. And I'm like, nobody said people that commit felonies are horrible people. I didn't say that. But why do you think somebody's going to have an easy life if they have an option to become a felon or not? So she was basically saying, you can still become a felon. It's okay to make that choice, and you'll be all right. Oh, no, you won't be a felon. No, I mean, you'll <laughs> there's, it, I, I admit that there's some easy things that people can do and become felonies that probably should not be felonies, but nobody wants to be a felon, man. There's a whole bunch of rights you lose and all that, depending on where you live. And I got the news for you. It does affect if you get a job or not. Absolutely, so. it does, man. This background, nothing that you do nowadays, like back in the 80s, maybe the 90s, you can, get, you can do stuff and get away with it. In today's world, every single thing you do will live with you forever. Right. Yes, social media doesn't go anywhere. The internet's not going anywhere. Nope. And so I, I just thought that was funny. There's people out there with the mentality of, and so because of that, I got called the dreaded, and not the C word that applies to women. I got called the dreaded C word uh, because I, I would not go out and convince these young men to become felon. I was trying to convince them to use level heads. And and this woman who works for Temple called you that, and, and I'm assuming you're, I'm assuming I'm assuming you're uh, alluding to Coon or something like that. Yes, that's what she that's what I am because I don't want the young men to become felons. I would rather them become educated and change a system that they disapprove of from the inside out instead of throwing rocks at a giant. And because okay. I have the philosophy, she um she you know she decided to uh, share her um her and discomfort. I would challenge her on the six six point something billion dollars. That's what she that's said. A that's a lot of money. Shit. If they're getting that money, they're getting it from the government, and maybe we should cut that down. I think we bit. should cut it all off, to be honest <laughs> with you. Yeah, you bring wanna, it down. You, you want to see, see the attitudes change of these pompous bastards? You cut all that government money off and watch how fast things change. Yeah, I promise let's bring you. that Boom. down. Um, <laughs> Al Chervik says uh, the highlight of his weekend was seeing Walter loading his mini car with a dozen AKs. For the trip home so <laughs> apparently lola put some because um yeah she was circling me as i was getting ready to leave so yeah she, lola I, put some video up that i guess only the patrons have seen oh okay so cool. far so cool yeah no, so no. um well I, I i grew up with little cars so i could fill that thing up with a with the lottie and 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 probably still get there so you know yeah no there's nothing i, I like the um i like the abarth 
So yeah. So was there any was there any kind of like damage or violence or anything uh, like that? Yeah, Anyone? And everything I'm about to say, I'm going to answer the question, but I want to I want to pre uh, preface it with the fact that everything was minimal. So we did have, um, I believe, at last count that I watched the news, there were about 15 to 20 people arrested. Uh, for various charges, uh, and the reason I said that I didn't want people to become felons from just doing what you would be, cons what they would consider minor, is because the governor has made it very clear he's going to charge anybody arrested doing those riots with some form of mob action or mayhem. So, and that's, that's a felony. felony. That's a felony. So okay. I'm like, you no, know, let's, let's not be a part of that. Um, but it, downtown got they broke some planters and busted out some windows of some businesses and damaged I think four or five cop cars. Uh, but you know, a little bit of chaos, but not not horrible. So I think the city will definitely live through this without. I think in a weekend we'll be back to normal. Yeah, yeah the, the networks were saying eighty people were arrested. So you know, if they, if yeah, they probably possibly could have. I saw twenty the last count, and then some. They some stations are only counting people that were, um, I guess, arrested doing crazy things like and violent stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's not bad relatively. Um, oh, it could have been a lot worse. I think there was a strong police presence. If I'm, am I mistaken or am I right? I, I, will, I will say this: um, the from a law enforcement aspect, Ferguson was a lesson. And um, <laughs> hey, we had a different governor at the time. We have a different governor now. He's a little bit more aggressive. Um, and there were they were the National Guard was activated the day before the uh, the, the decision came down. We had, I know uh, from count, we have a Troop C, the Missouri Highway Patrol here that's close to us. If they didn't have 300, 320 cars stationed at that troop, um, <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, every they were they were prepared and they they they're they, ready to get down. They're ready to go. Yeah. Now the next part of that that I would say is that if people really want to make changes here, remember you're the people of this of these towns of these cities. You control the politicians. Believe it yep. or not, you vote. Get out there, vote. Demand things from them. Uh, you know, keep people accountable if if uh, they're not doing what they're supposed to do because these are the people who hire the police departments, right? Who hire them, pay them. Um, set policy and all that kind of stuff for the police department. So if you have issues there, that's the way to go about dealing with it if if you feel that there are issues. For the most part, you know, these guys need to be paid better, trained better, etc. You know, we were talking about this last week. It goes all the way around. Everyone's uh, should be responsible here. You know what I find yeah. crazy about that, though? <laughs> it mm -hmm. happens every time, too. Uh, we People in the city will vote. And you get, you know, the same kind of uh, the, really much the same kind of style of mayor, you know, give or take. And every time something goes bad, they go to their house and start damaging their house. But the, yet you vote the same kind of person right back. Yeah. Home. You know, so <laughs> then, like uh, so who's who's running um, St. Louis? Is it Democrat? Uh, yeah, uh, her name is Linda Cruson, if I'm saying her last name right. She is a she is a Democratic um, mayor, which has nothing to do with her governing style. But mm -hmm. she reminds me a lot of the last guy, um, and she is extremely, extremely vocal and extremely, extremely anti-gun and extremely, extremely um, cocky. Uh, so the, one of the first things she did when she came in, I don't care how they, they swing the PC of it, is got rid of the uh, police chief when she took office. Mm -hmm. Right. And a new one. Now, to the, police, the current uh, acting police chief anyway, because we don't really have a, a police chief now, acting mm -hmm. police chief and the mayor, they weren't in their positions in 2011 when this happened okay so they are only dealing with what they were dealt with when the, uh, the decision came down um but they still run the city the same nothing's going to change because we don't we, we won't make enough hard decisions to make a change yeah so you said she's anti-gun so does she have the uh, her security detail unarmed oh yeah no 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 she has uh, well -armed. <laughs> you know the crazy thing man one of the craziest things she said when she was running to rile people up to vote for the ar-15 thing said, yeah, she came out and said there will be uh, no AR-15 allowed within city limits, and I'm looking at the state statute like, yeah, that ain't no. <laughs> and right away, right away, you know, you got a loose cannon. Right, you know, yeah. like you clearly cannot do that, and you yeah. know. She, and does she, that she, also yeah. include the police department? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was huh? That's what I was thinking. Like, oh, so yeah. you're gonna do this on the police? But you know what? She's crazy enough to almost do it. As long as they're not in her detail, I think she probably would. I'm not giving up my AR-15s for nothing. Yeah, man. For nothing. Let's let's do a roll call real quick here and shout out some people. So 
Chris Bullis, Chris B, Shut Up and Play Your Guitar, Dan Nugent, Mr. Some Guns, Screaming Skull Saloon, The Tyvin Show, Lawrence Lerwick, Meredith's Mayhem. <laughs> this sounds like all of this, a lot of these names that sound like rock bands. Um, Keith P Peterson, Ryan Baker, Joe Carpenter, uh, TJ Blaze, I think, is it TJ or JJ? Uh, Lola has horrible handwriting. Uh, DCZ, DC2 Me Mega Boost, Mr. Bullshitter. <laughs> E-Rock, e Vanessa Kitty, and Al Chervik so far. Um, and then I think there's some more I've seen here, like Black, Black Gun Owners. Um, Shout out. Mr. Nick. Yes, there you go. And I think it was TJ Blaze. There you go, TJ Blaze. 17 caliber. Steel oh, Ringer, God. Imposter. There's a whole bunch of folks. I want to remind you folks, I just shouted you out. Now you can help me out by clicking the like button. Make sure you click that and make sure you share this on your social media. Yeah. We'll get into that. Uh, we're, the subject today, we're going to talk about boycotts and companies that are, um, you know, that have policies not allowing gun people to come in there. And what do we do about it? So that's, uh, what do you guys think about all this? Um, I will say this, not to not to just jump in there, but I will say this. So the story out of Austin, where the you know the uh, the truth about guns uh, owner went in there and in Austin began, and you know they called the police on him for having a firearm. First thing I would like to say is they are they are truly committed to being anti-gun. You have to go look at the size of the signs they put in the window. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is ridiculous. I mean, it is yeah. basically the entire door almost. So um, let's tell people where this sign is, um, or where this you can find this particular article on the truth about guns. And it's called Question of the Day, Do You Boycott Gun Free Zone? And it's by Robert Farago, who so, is, um, I, I'm assuming he's the guy that owns The Truth About Guns or the the editor-in-chief or something like that. Um, and he's got a story there. I can read it quickly. Uh, Recently, I chronicled my encounter with the Bee Caves police, wherein the constabulary um, turfed me from a posted gun-free zone more than a few t-tag commoners took me to the woodshed not for carrying <laughs> although a failed concealment earned me some uh brick bats i caught more flack for being a hypocrite we Re rewarding an establishment that prohibits customers from exercising their natural civil and constitutionally protected right to keep and bear arms within their premises after telling them that I wouldn't. So what he's talking about and what Kevin's talking about is there is this uh, bakery which is called, um, it is called Baguette et Chocolat. There you go. And that's an actual bakery in Austin, Texas. We've, we've spoken about Austin, Texas a little bit here. But if you go look at this article, as Kevin's saying, you can see the doors of <laughs> Baguette et Chocolat. And there's massive signs that are like, mm, I don't know if it's half, it's at least a third of the door and it says like that you know they don't want anyone in there if you're concealed carrying or open carrying they don't want you in there and i guess that's law in texas right right open. so when, when, when texas passed um open carry when you got your chl i remember uh reading and listening to the news articles and stories and stuff they can also they came up with a different ordinance to ban open carry as well and you you, you know by most states you have to have the sign the lettering has to be a certain height. It has to be within certain feet of the main interests of the business and things like that. Um, so they did that, uh, and that's their right to do it. And I also think it's your right to go spend your green somewhere else. Yeah, so what happened here with Robert Farago, if you read this whole article, is that he knew this. This was his favorite place to go and get a baguette or whatever oh, it is man. that he, you know, he likes getting. Ever, some kind of pastry. You ever had a good uh, chocolate baguette? Yeah. Uh, hey, okay. So, what, is, what is a baguette? Wait, uh, I've uh, heard uh, a chocolate uh, croissant. A croissant, croissant, croissant. croissant. Yeah, yeah. not baguette. A baguette is like a That's large bread. piece of bread. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, yeah. Um, but he, I think, yeah, I think he likes to go there and have uh, coffee and yeah, probably so. and donuts or whatever it is. Yeah. But he knew that this was going on. I think he wrote an article about it, and so everyone was like, "Yeah, you're a gun guy. You know, you did this thing. We shouldn't support these businesses." And but he still kept going to that business. Well, I guess you know they like they say that's the his choice too. Remember yeah. that you know I mean. Well, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, I guess. You know, you know, if, if he can't. wants to go there, and you know, that doesn't mean he's not carrying. Hello. Well, um, yes, if he know, you, you know, he's free to do whatever he wants to do. 
Although he is, I think, being a little bit hypocritical to write an article about this place, tell everyone about it, then other people probably well, there are boycotting it and not going. But he's going there because he really likes what you know what it is. So he's giving the money, and they're completely against him. It's a little hypocritical. Yeah, I, I guess write, you have I the right to an, be a little hypocritical. If I wouldn't you want. write an article like that. Then I'm in myself. I'd keep it to myself. But hey, you know. But here's what happened. So he did that, and then later on, he still kept going to this place. So he was in there one day concealed carrying the owners either knew him or noticed that he was carrying somehow and then they called the popo on him oh they did yeah so he was in there and then the popo came in what did they do then and then they they um they, they, asked, him, they asked him if he was carrying and he said he was and then they told him did he read the signs and then he went out and pretended that he didn't read the signs and <laughs> He was like, oh, okay. And then they let him go. They let him leave. They didn't yeah. arrest him or anything it like that. Be a, shouldn't be an international incident. No. And they let him leave. And then he wrote another article about it. Okay. So now it's becoming a little bit of a thing because this article that he put up about it has now caused a little kind of like a gun rights battleground and a boycotting battleground. I'll tell you guys why. So this article on um, Austin Eater which I guess is like a local a blog in Austin for eateries right. says Austin's bake uh, Austin bakeries, Facebook page becomes gun rights battleground. <laughs> Believe it or not, guns and pastries collide. <laughs> <laughs> so the Facebook page for a bee cave pastry baguette and chocolate has improbably become a war ground for gun rights activists. It all started when the truth about guns editor, Robert Fargo entered the pastry last week with a gun despite the fact that they prohibit open and concealed carry on the premises. When the owners noticed Farago's guns under his t-shirt or gun, they called Austin's 311 service, which dispatched two police officers to Baguette. A few minutes after casing the scene, the police asked Farago to leave. Farago wrote about the experience, which led to a flood of negative one-star Facebook and Yelp reviews <laughs> yeah. on Baguette's page from gun rights activists. One Yelper wrote that the owners feel the need to try to restrict our rights and liberty as Americans. And someone on Facebook commented, I'm sure their food is excellent, but their stance on guns is dangerous. No thanks. So that was one side. Then there was a subsequent flood of positive reviews from Baguette and Chocolat supporters. In response, one Facebook wrote the Baguette offers a great meal in a safe and loving snowflake. <laughs> Same Save the environment. <laughs> now you I'm, I'm inserting that. Another yell said the, the bakery you is just wonderful. Told, you, just told, you just told all the bad guys that nobody's armed there. Exactly. So another yelper said the bakery is wonderful and authentic. I don't live um, close to this place at all, but it's 100% worth the drive. Um, so this whole thing is like become a thing that's going back and forth. So what do you guys think? Well, it's, you know, it's fine. You know, I mean, they can, they can, they can feel the way they want to feel and, we can feel the way we want to feel. We just don't have to give them any money, you know. And, yeah, that's, and, uh, and if you if you still want to go in there, then you know that's your world, you know. Yeah, uh, if that's the if that's the law in Texas that you can do that, that uh, stores. I know Florida has a law that does not allow people to make up their own gun laws. So, <laughs> in other words, here in Florida, um, there's there's certain places that you can't have guns. Uh, schools, post office. Uh, uh, government buildings, but other than bars. that, yeah, other yeah, places, uh, bars, for example, where they serve alcohol. But other places can't just go. No guns allowed here. They can't just do that. So that's specifically against the law here in Florida. You know, so cities like how Gainesville is real liberal. They can't. You know, you can't have a whole bunch of stores there saying people can't come into this store armed and all that because they would be depriving us. Now Texas doesn't have that, and that's what it is there. Uh, at the same time, you know, this is kind of a weird thing because if he's a gun guy and we're all getting behind the truth about guns and going, hey, this is this is we, we mention the truth about guns here almost every single time we do a show. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. 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 We mention them. We talk about them. So they're they're in the gun community. And this is something that in Texas, regardless of what's going on, Austin might be a unique place in Texas. I'm sure there's other places that are have a yeah, bunch of hippies, yeah. but um, you know it's Texas, man. <laughs> so this <laughs> business is in is. Texas telling people they can't come in there and they can't defend themselves while they're in the damn business. Didn't Texas just pass like open sword carry? You can carry a sword, something like that. Uh, 
No, I don't know about that. That's hey, interesting. That? Maybe it's he recent. can go in there with a sword. <laughs> Is that yeah. common enough for him? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, well what do you think about if they if? Go ahead, Kevin. At least you can chop up the baguettes if you got the sword. Yeah. <laughs> but if, uh, <laughs> you know, you can chop them up. And then somebody may had a pretty good one. I'm trying to remember who said it, but he just said he said baguettes violence begets violence. Oh, there you yeah. go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> But, <laughs> so what would you do? What would you do, Walter? Um, if if there was a store in your neighborhood oh, that man. you liked going to, like let's say Hooters, <laughs> and Hooters said, "You know what? We don't want anyone in here armed." What would you do? Well, I don't know. You know, um, uh, <laughs> I won't say question. what I, I, I won't say what I really well, do. You could, you could tell us what you would do. You're a man. You're you know. You're leaving him up on. You know, it's like when I'm out walking around, if I got it in my pocket, I don't make a trip back to the car unless I know I'm going to get, like, go through a metal detector or something. I keep it in my pocket, very regardless. So <laughs> that goes yeah. that, that goes a lot yeah. of different places. Yeah. Lola says, you don't know your eyes. She knows you're still going to Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> Lola's like, don't even try to play us, Walter. Yeah. You're I don't, I don't, all up in Hooters. Hooters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't, you know, places like Starbucks and these places where they're constantly, it's a constant flood of, of stuff like that. Not just the gun stuff, but, you know, yeah. against the president and things like that. You know, yeah. I, 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 listen, if you really I like a place, them. listen, one of the enjoyments of life is, is what you consume, right? What you eat. You know what? Good so. chocolate, good chocolate croissants are like heaven. Yeah, and not a, you know you necessarily can't find that everywhere. I would just go. I would just go in there armed, and that's what he was probably yeah, he just, doing. And then they busted him. I guess yeah. he wasn't deeply concealed enough. I, I guess he was printing, is what they yeah. call it. Or yeah. they just know his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible at this point that they know who yeah. he is, and they know that he is. Um, you know, they know he's Robert Farrago. We all know that name, Robert Farrago. We read his articles all the time. And we say the byline. So at this point, they probably know who he is. He can't yeah. resist it. I guarantee you tomorrow he's going to take his butt in there. The question <laughs> is, is he going armed, unarmed? <laughs> because it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters what rules people make up, man. I'm still going in there armed. Well, you know, you know. and then if they're just going to ask you to leave, then you just you get your baguette and you get the hell out. Say love Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you get out of there. But the flip side of that, I'm sure there's a lot of people saying, well, we shouldn't we shouldn't. Um, give any money to these guys. Well, what do we do there? Like, can we, I don't know if there's anyone that watches this that's in Austin and they could tell us like, uh, what is a good alternative? What is a pro gun friendly place that poor Robert Farrago can drive to with his hot chick? Cause he's, this is not me saying it in his article. Yeah. He said he had a hot chick with him. And so he's surprised that they, that they did all that, <laughs> knowing that he had, you know. Maybe they don't do chicks there. So anyway, you got to find a place. There might be another nice place. What would you do, Kevin? What would I, you well, do? I know this. I had this. We see now when I have classes of a certain size, you know, I'll, I'll take people breakfast, you know, juice and donuts and stuff like that. And uh, one particular day, I was picking up an aunt of mine and to take her over to a class and. Um, we stopped by this little spot by her house, and the first thing, or two signs that kind of got my attention. The first one was, we don't allow um, firearms in here. Now, luckily, this aunt of mine was a retired cop. So I'm like, all right, I'm sitting right here. I really am going to be late for class. So I'm like, you got me? She was like, yeah, I got you. And I, I started to walk back to the car against my better judgment. I stopped, and I turned around, and then I read the second sign that pissed me off. And that <laughs> sign was, we don't take debit or credit cards. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You know, and so I did. I just it's got cash only. <laughs> oh please! I got back in the car and left. And what I did was I went, you know, 15 minutes out of my way to when I was actually closer to my house. Um, and I walked in. And when I train, a lot of times I open carry because that's what I do when I'm training. And so I walked in. I'm like, all right, give me a, a dozen donuts and some juice. And I walked up, and uh, the lady not only uh, served me with no problem, she gave me a discount. And then she said, oh, you need to sign up for our regular discounts. Thank you for what you do. I'm like, wonderful. So, right, there will be businesses. The, the story, the moral is there will be businesses that support you oh, yeah. and the ones will that stand behind you and won't impede on you. So find those places and go there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But, you know, ultimately, I think, I mean, there's certain things that we have to do. So you gotta, you kind of have to balance that, you know. Um, it's, sometimes I think for the little pleasures and you don't have a lot, I, I kind of get it. I get it. 
Yeah. Now, you know what? But for bigger yeah. things, I like I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't go out of my way to give money overall to companies or places like that that are coming down. And if I could find an alternative, like Kevin said, I would rather go with the alternative. Uh, Hank, I don't mean to cut you off. But I'm yeah, say everybody, I see the comments. I'm not even gonna say what the comments are because of the comments. I'll be right back. Yeah, you you figure it out. Ask oh, little. boy. <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. so it's gonna get us some donuts. Is someone, <laughs> it's be a is someone messing with Kevin? <laughs> I, I will show uh, you. I'll be back in a second. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. That I'll be back in a second thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. I think if we can avoid giving our business to certain yeah. places, we should do you it. Um, it. It's going to become a whole, it's going to become a whole thing. I think, I, I think you also deserve to let everyone know that this is an anti gun place. And maybe they lose business of pro gun people. Ultimately, yeah. in a place no, like Austin, they probably just don't give a shit. They right? probably gain just as many um, leftists at the same time. So, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's all right. You know what? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Robert. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't lose sleep over it. You know, it's not. Yeah. It's not like one of those. It's not. You don't have to have a chocolate croissant. You know. Well, you know, also, he maybe he should just go live somewhere else. Maybe he should go well, live in a more, you know, non hippie part of, of uh, Texas. Yeah, put you him know, out. We have there. to ask ourselves what it says about Robert Farrago that he lives in a real hippie. Oh, place. oh, in Austin. Well, you know, Austin yeah. isn't isn't Austin. Oh, gee, who the per? Oh. I want to know who the hell is responsible for hey. Kevin putting HK. on HK stuff on this show. <laughs> That person, I will get you. <laughs> Who I was, was the person to... that was talking to him about this HK thing and reminded him? Uh oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh oh. I guess you're gonna be. Oh. Okay. Let me just say this to you, Kevin. Uh -huh. Do you want to be a thumbnail? <laughs> Do you want to be a thumbnail of, on this video? <laughs> Make it. I'm not you, scared of you. Do that. Ask that. yourself. Okay. Get closer to the camera. Go that's ahead. a good one. He <laughs> beat me out okay. there. Oh, thumbnail. that's good. Thumbnail. There you go. That's the, that's the thumbnail for this video now. <laughs> Somebody had to go mess with Kevin. My own and, business and everybody kept messing with me. So I was my own oh, business. Damn it. I was enjoying the no HK thing. We have to get something to blur out any K things on here. Whatever. Oh, wait a minute. Wait okay. a minute. What do I got here? Oh, I just got that poster on the wall. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you send him one of these? Because um, if, you, if you did send it to him, I say, like, recall the mail now. <laughs> no, no, no Trump rooster for you. No, no, no Trump rooster. No for rooster you. for you. <laughs> no, no, that's cool. Someone had to go remind Kevin about this, this damn HK stuff. Hey, man, I'm just saying I was being all right. Kept calling, <laughs> yeah, looking at him like, all right, that's like the fourth comment. Then Lola had to yeah. jump. Oh, OK. Okay. Oh, I'm Lola sure, is saying something on there. Is that what? Is it Lola that started this? She didn't start it. Oh, but she was agitating it. Seriously, woman. Uh, I'm sure glad somebody else can be silly. Yeah. So, what other companies? I think Lola put up some companies here that are anti-gun guys. Levi's. I don't yeah. know if you guys know this. Yeah. I used to wear only Levi's jeans. I don't buy Levi's jeans. No, so. I stopped. I I I will not wear Levi's jeans anymore. That's why I'm I'm now. What is this thing I'm rocking? The triple art, triple art design. That's what I'm rocking now, mm -hmm. just because of Levi's jeans. Because they don't want gun guys up in there trying out Levi's and all that. Which I've been wearing Levi's since the '80s, and then I gave them up yeah. like about six months ago and went to wearing triple art design. They get these. Yeah. They get these uh, leftist uh, CEOs in there, and they screw it all up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I don't want to see. And I said, unlike Robert Farrago. I put my money where my mouth is. My triple lot, one pair of triple lot jeans cost like, uh, what was one pair? Like $125. Oh, are you a fool? No, yeah. I'm serious. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Oh, uh, no, these are special. These are tactical jeans. Tactical. They're tactical. They're tactical jeans. Have I never shown you guys this? Now you're going to have to, now you're going to have to watch take the your Hank pants Strange. off. No. You're going to have to see the Hank Strange crotchery now. Oh, don't do that to us. Check it out. Let me. I'm gonna lock it on here. Hold on a second. Jeans. I've heard so it all look, now. No, look. It's it's like cargo pants. See, look. Well, there's a pocket, a pocket. There's a pocket. Yeah. There's, a pocket yeah. there's a pocket in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, and then back here, there's a there's a big pocket. What happened to your ass? And then here's. I don't have an ass. <laughs> have you never met me? I never looked at it too <laughs> much. Really. My ass. My ass is like friggin', you know, the Bermuda Triangle. 
You got to get you doing See, some squats. Look, you know? look what's in the pocket there. Extra Check mags, extra yeah, mags. Extra mag. See, there's like two pockets on each side. Look, there's the gun. There's the shooter. Yep. There's the gun. See, pocket, another pocket in there. See, there's my pocket. So it's tactical, triple lots. The only thing I don't like, it, it's like, it's not buttoned up. If you look right here, I'm you not, like you know. It's like not. It's it's well. no. It's buttoned up. It's not like. Um, oh, it's not zipper. It's or not Velcro? a zipper. Yeah, I thought like zippers are more tactical. So there you oh. go. Okay. All right. Now. So there you go. You We've had our open. fashion moment. Yes. I've shown my business on live TV now. <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully that will help people forget about Kevin and his crazy. Kevin, you still <laughs> have that on? Hey, I was minding my own business. <laughs> right. I was chilling. I wouldn't yeah. bother nobody. All of a sudden, people got all these jokes. Hey, where's your HK gear? You know, I got the fanboy comments. And I was I was holding the inner fanboy in tonight. But you know yeah. what? See, I mean, Mike Bryant is 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 he sympathizes with me. He says, I know the feeling. I was born ass challenged too. Yeah, it's weird, man. I could get I could get a gut, but I can't get ass. I cannot grow a booty. Uh, and I can't grow a beard either. Grow a booty. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but you know what? Because of Levi's alone, man, ask Lola. I was like, that's it. I'm not wearing Levi's, not yeah. buying Levi's, you know, none of that. So, and then, I, so I, you know, it's expensive, but I bought myself two pairs of jeans. I'm good to go. Levi's are always more expensive so. than the normal jeans anyways. And you don't get anything else besides the little sticker on little tags of Levi's. Yeah. So you guys can go look, let me, I'm going to confirm this right now. It, it's, I think it's called triple lot. Yeah, triple lot design. You guys can go look it up. Look up triple lot design, and and uh, it's not cheap. Well, I don't see that right now. If you're <laughs> looking for bargains, nothing you got's cheap. Yeah, triple lot design. Is not <laughs> Ask Lola; she'll tell you. Hey, yeah, hey, I know. I know. Everybody's making, making comments about your little uh, your little uh, you know moment of uh, modeling. So um, I came up with a new stripper name for you. Oh boy, you are now known as Skank Strange. <laughs> I hope you know this. I hope you know that I'm capable of doing Photoshop, Kevin. Just remember that. Just remember, ask Walter what I have Photoshopped onto him. <laughs> yeah, right? You don't, you don't have to get all evil. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sumgun says, I suffer from no ass at all. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, you know, hey. Okay. That's the let, let me tell you. You know what? That's the Indian side. Got to blame that on my mama. Well, that's yeah, that's Indian not a, that's, that's that's from not, that's from my Indian uh, blood right there. That's not from the African roots, and I'll yeah, just that's leave it red dot, right not the feather. Red dot for anyone who wants to know. I don't know how to wear yeah. Let's see which hat I want to wear. I'll show yeah, this. Come on. Okay, you got to like. Come on. Not the feather. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to see. You know, I was. <laughs> I heard that five dot eleven actually came out with some um, jeans. By the way. Um, no, I haven't seen. I don't know if anyone's seen the five dot eleven jeans. I don't know. Now you know the interesting story about five eleven. You guys know those are not the original owners of it. No, they got bought out by a big conglomerate. So it's not the original um, designer and engineers and things like that. They broke off and started their own thing. They were at um, Shot Show last year talking about it. So Actually, are they gun guys or not gun guys? That's uh, the I big could. conglomerate. I don't know about the big conglomerate. There was a bunch of investors that jumped in and bought. It. I don't. I don't know. They're probably just after the money. Uh, but I don't know if they're anti-gun or pro-gun. I don't. I don't know that. Um, yeah. But I know they. The, the original guys have been bought out. And I remember. I wish I could remember the name of the company. I think it's called First Something. It's. I'm gonna have to Google it. But uh, okay. they started off making gloves. So Five Eleven, the original guys have now started off just making smaller apparel. I think they did gloves and shirts for right now. They started last year. I have to Google it. Let me see who they are. Okay, 5.11. Yeah. Yeah, look that up and let us know. But I think 5.11 is doing jeans now. I saw that. I saw something about that that came in one of my things. I don't know if it's like, um, you know, I what don't know if it, they're like tactical jeans. Someone look it up and tell me. I haven't bought a pair of the 5.11 tactical jeans. Okay, there it is. So, yeah, the name of the company, if you're looking for the original guys that started 5.11 before they were bought out, they are now called First Tactical. Oh, okay. So they they started a separate thing and it's called First Tactical? Yeah, so they, they sold their ownership and they started a new company, the same guys that started 5.11, the engineers, designers, and all those guys. It's called First Tactical. Just for you know. Yeah. 
Um, Meredith Mayhem says he's wearing a bunch of proper pants. They're awesome. Awesome. Trust me. I never oh, heard of proper. Yeah, oh, oh, what do you mean you never heard of proper? Oh, proper. That's what's called a uniform. Give a, let, me give a, let me give a special <laughs> shout out to proper. Proper, uh, my good friends out of out of um, Weldon Springs, Missouri. Wait, hold on. It's called it's called proper. Is the name proper. of the, is it? You never heard of proper, man. They do all the, they do. Yeah, proper's got fifty years in the business. Proper actually sponsors me, Hank. What is it called? Nope. Proper Clothing Company, or yeah, proper, just put in proper.com and it'll come right up. They do all the uh, uniforms and cam camouflage and all this stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, about fifty years in the business. Proper makes a great, great product. Um, they the the STL pant. They actually got a, a pants called the STL. So if you look at the STL pant, it's very comfortable. Um, the the lightweight tactical pants. I've rolled those things. Do well. they have jeans? Do they, have they don't need jeans. Hank, everybody's not spending $150 on jeans. <laughs> what? Come it's just on, a, man. I don't want to walk around looking tactical all the time. <laughs> the L pant is not tactical. You ought to check it out. It's not anything tactical looking. Mm -hmm. All right? They can put his bongos on or something. There's Gloria I Vanderbilt. How many pair of jeans I can buy for 150 bucks? <laughs> Costco? <Hey. laughs> no, I, go to, I, I am a okay, big I'll check out proper, but they need to make a pair of jeans. I'm sorry. Burlington. I am a big fan of Burlington until they do something I don't like. Yeah, they need to make some jeans. Okay, let's talk about some other companies. Right. Uh, and folks out there can let us know, like, what other companies are anti-gun guys? Um, Lola has on here Starbucks. It's kind of true, right? Yeah, Starbucks yeah. is against us. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. Big time. I, I got a question, though. Is Starbucks really anti-gun, or were they anti all the publicity they were getting? No. Yeah. What do you think it is? Yeah, they weren't. They didn't come down really and say they were anti. It became like a whole thing, and then they didn't want anyone getting all... They didn't want to get rolled into this, you know. Yeah, I think they're anti-Trump too. So yeah. Oh, okay. So and I didn't know this, but Chick Fil A or Chick Fil A. They're yeah, Lola. Anti yeah, Lola says that. Yeah, Lola likes calling it Chick Fil A, but that's not what it is. It's, it's Chick Fil A. Chick it's Chick Fil A, you. <laughs> I had some for okay, lunch. Okay, I day. know. I know it's Chick Fil A. They're anti-gun. Okay. Yeah, when did when when is what did that happen? Why did you put Chick Fil A on here, Lola? I didn't know Chick Fil A was anti gun. We're gonna have to confirm that. I don't know why Lola put Chick Fil A on there. But Chick Fil A always having you know, Chick, problems. No, Chick Fil A is like a, a, a Christian. Yeah, Christian guys. Company. Yeah. They're closed yeah. on Sunday. The that whole doesn't mean doing. that doesn't mean they can't be anti gun. Well, yeah, they could be anything they want. I had some today for lunch. Yeah, I don't. I've never seen anything about Chick Fil A being anti gun. Yeah. Um, I don't know if any if you guys know out there. I don't want to put I don't want to put that on Chick Fil A right now. Steel Ringer says IKEA. IKEA that makes sense because they're sw Swedish. Oh, so well, whenever I'm up in IKEA, I got my guns. Cause I right. it could be a little ghetto. They always put IKEAs right in the right spot where you know there's some some you know there's it's a little bit of, it's a, it's a little mixed up. Okay, Lola put Costco on there now. Yeah. She put Costco on there as being anti gun. She used to work for Costco, by the way. I I go to Costco. I know I'm ratting her out. She used to work for Costco for a long time. Yeah. She was a big wig in Costco. <laughs> she was, she was a big she was a big boss. She got Costco. some Costco jeans, man. She, now she's putting you you're just putting you're just putting names up on that. I'm thing. Not just putting Why are you putting there? Chipotle That's up there? That's what the people are saying. Okay. <laughs> Mike Bryant said Mike Bryant said Chick fil A sent a bunch of swag to Demolition Ranch. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Chick I don't, I don't think, think they are yeah, either. Yeah. I don't know why Lola put the there, Chick fil A, please don't hate us and feed us. <laughs> I like my Chick fil A chicken. Yeah, oh, exactly. Man. Yeah. And if they supported Demo Ranch, well there you go. They make an awesome shake too. That's yeah, that's proof enough for me. Yeah. You know, um I, I, I like Chick fil A. I don't you know. You know, I never had a problem when they when they were doing they, a lot of people came down on them for different things. And the more the people came down on them, the more the people lined up to get Chick Fil A. Yeah, so. I think Chick Fil A has gotten caught, has got up in some other controversies yeah, out yeah, there, which the we gay which, stuff and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you yeah, know, we don't necessarily. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Like, I wonder if in Austin, Texas, right? Let's say a bakery in Austin, Texas said, "You know what? We don't want any gay people coming up in here." How would people feel about that? You know, have you guys ever noticed this that it's okay to discriminate on gun guys? But not against the uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Christian, not, but Christian. no one else. I mean, I don't think people should discriminate against anyone. I don't think you should discriminate against someone for their well, race. You should have the choice or sexual orientation right. or anything like that. I don't believe that. I don't think you should. But people discriminate against us 
uh, as gun guys like all the damn time. I mean, YouTube, this thing that we're on freaking discriminates against us. Well, yeah, you because know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, Walter. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I just think it's it's because it's easy, right? Because we can take yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we're not we're not gonna be the crowd to go out and bust out your window. And it ain't that no. funny. You know you can pick on us because we're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Just think if we just think if we decide to be bad, how bad it would be. <laughs> yeah, the thing, but the truth of the matter is they know we'll never do that. We are responsible people. But I think it's nonsense. We get discriminated on again a lot. And I think it's bullshit. You know, because that's straight up discrimination for a place to say that you can you can't do something that's legal, you know, that's cut that's that's upheld by the constitution and the laws of the land. That's yeah, nonsense. You know, you can't you can't defend yourself if you're going to get a coffee. Right? What's what's wrong with that? Yeah. Well, coffees are safe places and everybody knows that. If you have everybody's a Everybody's nice and quiet once they get their java. Yes. You know everything will be good. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing happens at coffee places. Yeah. They're all okay. peaceful people. Yes. Yeah. So here I think Lawrence Lerwick, right, Lola? Yep. Sent us a bunch of um, places that are anti gun. A and P, AMC Theaters, B B and T Bank. Oh, there's, there's, a whole, there's a yeah. Where Google's in the been, list. The biggest mass shooting. CNN, CNN. The, the, who was at um who I think who here was at um at the NRA show this year? I, I, was, I was. Yeah, Walter, you weren't there, right? Yeah, you no, know, CNN is all like anti gun, but we were all here's what all the gun guys were doing. They were just taking pictures in front of CNN <laughs> with the you know, not showing their guns, but we're all armed and we're just taking pictures. <laughs> because they the convention center was right next door to CNN. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Downtown. How, so, how many people got shot? Uh, zero. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. oh, damn. Nobody got shot. There were no shootouts. <laughs> no. That was kind of funny because I, 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 I swear it was a building full of armed people, and this is not whether you like them or not, but a building full of armed people. The president was in the building, and the president's son was actually walking the showroom floor. Yeah. I and have, nothing right. happened. Nothing happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> funny um, it is. Yeah. Right. I like it when that happens. It's always funny. So I, I found that to be very ironic. You know, you you uh, the NRA, all the NRA shows, uh, Kerry Guard, the NSSF, the Shot Show, all these big shows, nobody gets shot. Even when you go to like the big machine gun shootouts, like nah, oh, free, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, nobody's being shot. Nobody's being hurt. Nope. Yet. We're the bad guys. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I think it was like a pride. Of, I was tagging CNN, man. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> Everyone was tagging CNN, so yeah, they're not going to respond. They can't, they yeah, can't. I forgot where I put. I think I put it up somewhere. Where did I? I can't remember. Because you know, you post so much social media, huh? They called their good friends over uh, Google, and you wonder why you're having the problems you're having. Yeah, I went to Google headquarters, and I had um, guns. I had a an AK-47 like <laughs> drawn out in my head. <laughs> <laughs> And then so one side of my I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but um, I, I went to Google Atlanta because there was a some kind of YouTube uh, like uh, workshop or something like that. They invited yeah. me to go to. So I went to Atlanta, went to Google and I had on one side of my head, I had an AK-47 and then on the other side of my head, I, I had vote vote for guns. <laughs> so when I went into the. Um, when I went into Google Atlanta, the security there was a lady there, and the security thing was like, "Is that a is that a gun in your head? Is that an AK-47?" I was like, "Yep." Then she went to look on the other side of my head. She said, "Vote for guns." I was like, "Yep." <laughs> she was like, "No, no." Was she was, like, was oh, she afraid? Yeah. Was she scared? That's like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, oh, but you know, they didn't search me or anything like that, but they kept asking me if I was armed. <laughs> so you know. Which is crazy. They invite me there. They know I have a YouTube channel and I'm a gun guy on my YouTube yeah. channel, you know, and then they have a problem with it. And, you know, I think it's bullshit. And there were, there were a bunch of other people that were there, you know, that had different YouTube channels and stuff like that. There were some gay guys that had a YouTube channel and we were talking about guns. And those guys were cool because everybody needs to defend themselves. Yeah. Right? right. So and those right. guys were telling me, yeah, you know, we want to know about guns and all that kind of stuff. They never said, hey. You know we're gay, so de facto we're against mm -hmm. guns. But it's the, but these organizations say that, and that's the problem. You know well, they try to tell people if you're black, you should be against guns. 
That's stupid. This, you should be against guns, you know? It's so, so stupid. It's pathetic. Yeah. So oh, look what I found. I found some 50 cal ammo. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Here, show us that. That's Let's some see. ammo Let's porn. See. Go ahead. Pull it out. Pull it out again. Whoop. Woo. Yeah. So I guess some uh, someone wants to know, Lola's saying someone wants to know what happened if we get caught in these places and you're armed. Depends on your state. Depends on where you're at, yeah. Yeah, because I guess there in Austin, they, they just, you know, the, the police just asked him to leave and he left, right? He complied. Well, nobody's, nobody puts up an argument. You just... Yeah, just leave. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if I got my bagel or my... my, my um, Cup croissant. Croissant. Yeah. Croissant. Or whatever it was I wanted, I'd be out too. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know, you just, just leave. You don't, you don't cause a, a ruckus. You just... Hey, what was that? That was a 1903 Colt. Um, were we shooting that this weekend? Yes, we shot that over the weekend with the suppressor on it, remember? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. if anyone is, uh, if anyone supports us on Patreon, we're Patreon slash Hank Strange, you'll get a preview of some of what we were shooting this weekend, but we could talk about it. Yeah. But there's a preview there, I guess tomorrow or something, we'll release that video on the regular YouTubes. Guess what we were shooting, Kevin? What were you uh, shooting? <laughs> you want to, do you want to tell him, Walter? Uh, I, I, I got shooting? one mag. I, I got yeah. one magazine worth oh, of shit. What, 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 what were you doing? What full was... auto, SMG, full auto, 45 ACP, Chris Vector. You know what, Hank? See? And it was suppressed. <laughs> <laughs> Video coming up. Video coming up. Oh, what's this? This Live is my 11. four gun I keep around, but I'm pointing it at you. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't <laughs> I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. <laughs> yeah, right, fun stuff. Now, don't be, don't be talking about you out of ammo and all that when I make it down to Florida. I don't want to hear no excuse. No, <laughs> yeah. We invited you, so you're, I, hey, you're I'm welcome. Like, I'm coming down there. Trust we me. invited you during the during the hurricanes. You didn't want to come. No, Irma, Irma told me to chill out. I, she said I wasn't about that life. So oh. <laughs> now y'all got Maria down there tripping with South America. Yeah, See, someone wants to know why Walter, Wal Walter, why did you only get one mag? Why did you only shoot well, we one were, mag? Well, we, we were short on ammo, so I didn't want to, you know, there was there was video to make, you know. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, I so. guess we should talk about Babyface now, since he's not and here. And I'm, I'm a little, I'm, it was cool. It's, it's a cool gun, and I got to shoot it fast. But I'm a little jaded, you know, so I'll let the, I'll let the less jaded have more fun, you know. Yeah. Um, so you are not a, what are you saying? You're not a fan of the... Uh, Chris Vector, full you're auto. Sound, you're starting to sound like my son. As soon as I say mm -hmm. something like that. Why? Because it like... wasn't made in England? <laughs> <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a Sten gun? <laughs> <laughs> Look at here. What we got? What we got? Oh, Let's change the subject. What's Kevin got? All right, no, no, we're not changing the subject. We'll come back to it. <laughs> oh, Apex trigger. Glock in. This is the drop-in kit. And what Glock does that go in a Gen 5? Uh, no, this goes in one of the fours. And I happen to see, because although I do have what I love, look what I have here. It's actually a Glock 17. MOS. Oh, yeah. oh MOS. Very nice. Very nice. MOS. So I'm thinking about yeah. dropping a guy in here. Not quite sure yet, but that's what I'm thinking about. So what, um, what optic? What, are you putting a red dot on there? Um, so here's the thing. Uh, I don't know. I got the MOS. Let me see. I'm all, I'm all about being truthful. So let me be truthful. I oh, got boy. this because this cost me right when the MOS first came out, this cost me a whopping 400 bucks. All right. So I got it because it was, it was, that's not a lot. Did you, what, what did you get? Law enforcement discount? Uh, no, off? this is what happened. Some guy brought it in to, uh, to the shop. He came in, bought it, right? Like the day they came out, the day they hit the shelves, he came in, bought it. He put all this crap on skateboard tape and all that stuff on there and oh, okay yeah 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 uh, take down pins like i didn't do any of this he did all that and then he had the gun for about two weeks and came back and was like i just want to try something different i should have got the 19 mos so he bought the 19 mos and he's like i don't want the 17 anymore so we we got it back and i'm like well nobody's gonna buy this thing i'm gonna take it and we you know i got got it for 400 bucks so that's okay. all I got it. If I'm gonna put no, that's a, a good deal. I mean, those were like what six six fifty, I, I want to like, say. Yeah, six sixty nine no. or something like that. Uh, so it was two weeks old, a month old at the most, and I got a four hundred bucks. Yeah. So, I mean, you could you can still conceal carry a seventeen, but it's great for training. Yeah. Oh, and this, here's the other great thing about it too. I'll tell you about good deals. It actually came with the he he had uh, had us install the Trigicon HDs on our phone. 
So <laughs> he, put, he, put the, right, he did dude. a lot of work, <laughs> and then so yeah, that's way. <laughs> Like, okay. so, <laughs> Kevin I was all over that one. Walter, yeah. did you notice this gun is going to wants to buy it? I don't believe that Kevin took that and put it in a box. Yeah, but no, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have my good guys down at um Midwest Serco uh do some things to it. And I'm also met the sales guy at agency back at shot, and he told me if I ever had it a Glock, he wanted I wanted him to trick out, ship it to them. So and of course they're going to charge me, but they would they would be nice to me. So one of the two, but probably me with Sarah Coat, and I'm just going to literally drop it off and say do things. Yeah, I like to see what people can come up with. You know, if you don't, I don't have any like attachment to it, and I trust guys that I work with, so I'll just be like, here, do things. And when I put a dot on top of it, I will tell people the RMRs are great, but um, I actually do like a couple other optics. Burst makes a really really good one, and so does um, uh, Vortex. The Venom is really really oh, okay. Red dot. Uh -oh. Oh, sorry about that. That's okay. That's all right, Walter. So let's get back to why Walter only had one magazine. Because we didn't forget. Because yeah, you didn't have didn't no forget. damn ammo, that's why. Yeah. And you didn't say anything to me. Wait, I had ammo. I could have brought, brought 500 rounds. Hold on a second. That's not true. It's <laughs> not ammo. because I didn't have ammo. Nobody said nothing to me. Who the, who is the person in charge of bringing the ammo? Babyface, the person oh, who wanted to that shoot that Patrick's head. Yeah, the person who wanted to shoot that gun was Babyface, and he brought like so. We're gonna shoot a full auto. Chris Vector, Babyface brings seventy five rounds of forty five subsonic. I'm not hating on him, but there's no way. <laughs> Yeah, it don't take very long to go through yeah. three or four That's boxes. That's like you go yeah. order a McGangbang that we were talking about last week. <laughs> yeah, McGangbang. And you cut a little sliver of it off and you eat that, and then someone yeah. steals the rest yeah. of it from you. Oh. But yeah. I had some – well, yeah, Walter didn't know that we that we needed 45, otherwise he could have brought it. I had a bunch of 45, yeah. but it wasn't subsonic. I had some, like, frangible. Yeah, no, I got I got full-on Yeah, ammo, but, And so. we, you know what? Yeah. We I think we – like for the video, we went through. If it wasn't two hundred rounds, I think it, I think we went over two hundred rounds. Yeah, it went pretty fast. Yeah, it goes fast because that gun is fast, man. Fast, yeah. Yeah, that's it. You got to show that video of Lola shooting it when she walks her backwards. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's in the that's in the video that's uh, that I'm gonna probably release tomorrow. If if anyone if anyone out there um, supports us on Patreon, you can you can check it out on Patreon. Um, I don't know. Is that only open to people who actually support us on Patreon, Lola? McDunk. That video. Is it the, the video that's coming out tomorrow? Mm -hmm. It's on Patreon already. Yeah, is that only for people who support us or can Correct. people? Yeah, okay. So if you support Patreon. us on Patreon, you get to see it now. <laughs> uh, Real Cujo, I'm shouting him out. He looks like he's going to go rest. So, take all right, break. man, yeah. take it easy. Yeah, yeah, Real yeah. Cujo, um, hope, you feel, hope you feel better, my friend. Yeah, he was he was opposing with that uh, shiny Thompson, wasn't he? Uh, yes, real Cujo got him a um, Hank Strange T-shirt and was throwing up some pictures. Yeah. So we were sharing that up on uh, social media. He's a supporter of the situation. You know, very cool dude. He's not feeling that great. Hope he feels better. He's always out there supporting us and all that, showing us love, yep. et cetera. So yeah, we're gonna have that coming out, man. That's a fun gun to shoot, by the way, Kevin. Yeah. yeah, I bet it is. Fun fun gun, fun gun. That's okay. That's okay, because I'm going to spend all Saturday eating barbecue, blowing up <laughs> shooting machine guns. I'll be yeah. sure. To <laughs> Woody, Woody, I didn't get a picture. To be up there, huh? I didn't get a picture. Well, you were invited to come up here, both of you guys. Yeah, but, uh, we can't, Yeah, I couldn't come up, but, you know, I don't know about Walter. Yeah, I got to. Yeah. We we need a we probably need a little bit more notice, but we will come up there at some point. You can yeah. come next year. Yeah, it's the same um, time. Right, hey, Ke Kevin. Right. Have you ever had any ever had any dealings with um, CNS Metalworks? Uh, yes, Ken actually helped uh, donate to the cancer. But Ken's a good good friend of mine, man. And Ken John, John Shoop. Uh, John, John, John Shoop. What is John? Shoop. Is yeah, he he used to be the two used to be CNS Metalworks. The two of and John them. branched off, right? Um, but anyway, I don't know how much John's involved with it anymore. But yeah, but I know I don't know John that well, but I do know Ken. Yeah, Ken's a, okay. a good dude. he actually is. A, he actually donated. Um, which guys, if you don't know, Walter, I will say was kind enough to uh, help out with the cancer event. So 
Um, he sent uh, some goodies to finish the AR, the upper. I asked this guy for, I like telling people when people do nice things. Uh, I asked him that he had a junk and I was willing to buy it. Some kind of, you know, not junk, but a decent um, stripped upper receiver I could use for the build. Not only did he give me a good one, he also um, put it together, you know, so it's not stripped anymore. It's cool. So big shout out to you, buddy, because that's going to be great for the event. Um, and seeing as Metalworks, Ken actually donated the, um, the trigger and the barrel for the gun. And oh, the hammer. cool, cool, cool. Nice. Yes, you actually yeah. be on a build. And, and kudos to you too, Walter, for helping out with that build. Yeah, yeah, I put a little, I put the, I put the parts in there and a little uh, extra. Extra a little extra, a little extra grease to get things rolling a little faster. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah. that might buy me a that might buy me a baguette though. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> not in Austin. Not in Austin. You better don't spend <laughs> our money in Austin. <laughs> you better have a. You better get a couple dozen for what that money. Is, Kevin you know? will get on a plane, fly to Austin. He's like, let's see what we can make happen here. Shout out to Tango Hunter, and um, the Firefox 1922 two or two two two. He says, I have a Gen 1 Glock 17 with 20 rounds through it. That's you nice. Got, ooh, you got the Tupper case today? The, the Tupper case today, guy? That'd yeah, awesome. Gen 1, man. That's pretty cool, Gen 1. Uh, I, need a, I need a Gen 1 17 if I've just got one to donate. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, the Firefox has one, but I doubt he's given it up. <laughs> I have a Gen 2, but I, I, never, I, I wasn't a Glock person when the Gen 1s were around. So I'm not oh, a Glock okay. person, but I just like it to collect it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you missed out on that opportunity, man. You could have uh, you Gen One up in. I uh, in hey, speaking of Glock, I got some parts from my Glock build today. I got the um upper, the upper internals for that um. Oh, 80, you're doing you're doing a, a carbine 80, pistol. Yeah, no, eighty percent. Um. Oh. Yeah, poly eighty or whatever, polymer eighty, or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. cool. Okay. Be cool. Yeah, just for fun. They yeah. were they were on sale so cheap because they got a they got a second gen one out. I got a first gen frame so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some modifications to it because it's a little. All right. yeah. You know what? I got asked three times about that last week. Now I now I gotta be I gotta be back again. Hold on. Uh, Matthew May says, "What's up, Walter?" He got his. He says, "Thanks for the shirt and the patch," which oh, he got welcome. it. Lawrence Lurwick wants to know where's Babyface. Babyface has is up to something. Yeah. So that's why we're we're just gonna talk bad about him all day. <laughs> uh, we'll just tell Babyface stories. You know. Which, by the way, Babyface said we didn't need more than seventy-five rounds, and was so happy. Like to you, you got to see Babyface's face in this video every time he shoots that gun. <laughs> yeah, he got he, he got a it, right? on that one. So yeah, 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 he, yeah, loved, he, yeah he loved it. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't care tell. too much for those AK pistols, though. I yeah. think that I think that rocked his world there. The well, yeah, pistols. that was the other thing that we were shooting. We were shooting. Um, Walter brought like a bunch of AK pistols. Yeah. Um, how many? We had like seven AK pistols, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you guys will see that video sometime. I want to shout out Meredith's Mayhem. He just donated ten bucks to us. Gas money. He yeah. says Forza ammo or gas money or whatever. So thank Let's you very much. We appreciate it, sir. <laughs> yeah. Um, Al Chervik says, "Is it on Patreon?" Yeah, the video we're talking about with the um, with the Chris Vector that should be on Patreon. Should be. Yeah. Oh, um, Tango Hunter, he says he's talking about Patrick, not Babyface, TFB. He's coming on Wednesday. So, you know. Um, oh, and um, somebody was asking about uh, no fi no financing uh, charge uh, SHTF 50. We do take, if you want to send payments, we do do that if you want to do that. No problem. So. Yeah. Um, and then Mr. Brass47 wants to know if anyone has an opinion of ATEI milling on Glock's uh, uh, slide. I don't know not if anyone. Uh, not Kevin, with it. No. do you know that company, Kevin? ATI. Yeah, I, AT, I think it's ATEI, or I've never heard of it. I don't know. Um, no, somebody just donated. Uh, yeah, for you guys, the Jones and for Meredith Mayhem, you're Jones and for a Glock pistol, man. I mean, an AK pistol. Um, mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta like, you gotta like concussion to get an AK pistol. So yeah, uh, <laughs> Babyface was not feeling it. And, uh, he wasn't feeling that too that good right anyways. Now. I think when yeah, kind of, but um, yeah. this has been requested like six times over the last. Couple oh yeah, that's months. nice. Yeah, let's see. Give us a nice close up. This is the Glock 10 mil, the Glock 40, the big uh, 10 mil guy. Yeah, with the red X. Nice. Yeah, so this this is one of the ones you'll see us shooting on a uh, Noir season six. You'll see us out there rocking this guy. Cool. 
and of course, see MOS. And it's crazy. I got two of these things, and I don't have a I don't have an optic on either one of them. Yeah, but you know, you got the option, or when you get the optic situation worked out. So you said that you're you, there's uh, you think there's things that you think are better than the RMR or. Um, I don't. I won't say that they're better because I mean, Trigicon makes a great piece of glass, uh, but there are other options. Um, so when you look at Burris has one, um, and but the one I really like is the Vortex Venom. That's a good one. Uh, so it's just different options. I won't say which one's better. Now I don't like the the dual illumination one uh, from uh, Trigicon only because it's really really hard to pick up the dot. Um, now their LED one is cool. Uh, That's what uh, we hear. Uh, yeah, it's just hard to pick up that dot, man. We got one in the shop, and I mean, you have to, and I pick it up enough but you i mean it, you really have to search for it is um, that a 10 mil no yeah no this is a 10 mil oh it is a 10 mil okay yeah someone picked up on that yeah this is the 10 and this actually is functionally ported yes it is okay so it's functionally ported um it is uh it's actually very very soft shooting due to even though i took some weight out of it you know with the window cuts uh the lightning cuts up top even though there's a lot of weight reduced out of it it's still pretty heavy i mean it is what it is um but definitely a lot lighter but when you port this thing when it's cycle, man, it it, it's, it runs real flat. You'll be surprised how flat it is. I'll bring it down to Florida when I come. You, oh, yeah. You'll be surprised how, uh, how flat it runs. And then you put you some XX big dot sights on that guy, and you can um nice. You can lollipop it. Yeah. All you need is all you need is a that, Nintendo, Nintendo on the side of that, like yeah. a game controller. Is that threaded? No, it's not threaded. <laughs> uh, no, this one isn't threaded. Uh, only because when I when I got this one, it took me like this gun was out for almost like a year and a half before I got my hands on one. You just couldn't get them. Um, I don't think they made too many of them. And by the, when it came out, you couldn't get things for it. Like, there were no aftermarket parts. It's, it's a hunk of a gun. Uh, so they might have threaded barrels for it now. And I forget the name of that company that just came out with the compensators that don't need threads on them. What's the name of those guys? Hmm. Somebody just did. If they came out with Glock compensators you don't need threaded barrels for. Um, yeah. But they don't make one for the 10 mil yet. I think it so might how, be does it, how does it attach? Um, it, it has some little gizmo on it that goes into, um, the port on it. I forget. I had the, I saw it on a magazine and somebody else showed it to me and I kind of was like, okay. well, they don't need to put a 10 mil on that. Okay. Uh, so Tango Hunter wants to know how expensive is 10 millimeter compared to nine millimeter? <laughs> um, <laughs> 10 mil is expensive, man. Um, 10 mil is, is not a cheap round to shoot. So I will say, uh, you should only get it for a couple of different reasons. Uh, in my opinion. Now, some guys, I know a couple of guys that choose to carry 10 mil, um, but they also don't go out and shoot with their gun a lot, which is kind of asinine. If you're going to carry something, you ought to really be good with it um, because it's expensive. So I would say uh, one good reason to get this, which is the main reason I got it, is because I'm going to get into hog hunting. This isn't my primary. This is my backup. So it took me one time to see one YouTube video of a hog running at a dude. I'm like, nope, need a handgun too. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> you also need a big knife, but whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't like knives. Uh, but I will have um, uh, this guy on my side in case a hog gets you know 10, 20 feet away or something. I got to nail him with a handgun. Oh, man, you got to go hug on that hog. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna tell you one thing right now, man. You better, you, to, you better move real fast when that hog is charging you. <laughs> you got to hug on that hog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Walter, let's lock, let's lock Walter in there. Show that again, Walter. <laughs> you got to. Give that hog a little loving. <laughs> oh, I, no. I did. A, I killed a hog with a knife just like this once. So was it the? But the dog nice. knife. Yeah, the dog, dogs caught it, and then I, I did it right in the back of the neck. See, right, that's... right, right in the spinal column. Yeah. Walter, well, see, you're what we call an OG, and I don't quite know if I got that in me, man. <laughs> well, it, it, it's something that I, I didn't know if I had it either at first, but it just kind of happens, you know. It, it, I get. <sighs> I, I, I always say there's a lot of hogs that are a lot smarter than people. So it'd be, well, I don't want to go any further. So um, <laughs> if I could yeah. catch that wild hog and kill yeah, it, clean I can it up, clean it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, but no, anyways, yeah, you know, you can make hog, hog kebabs. Hog, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe what Kevin needs is like a, a hog school? knife gun, like a gun that shoots knives. You know yeah. what? Totally doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, my gun is sexy. Some guys are making comments about how sexy it is. It is oh. sexy. Oh, it's pretty as a muffin. Well, that's for sure, man. Mm -hmm. And it was, yeah. And it's Strike Industries that uh, make it. But somebody says Strike Industries they suck. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
I got a couple. All right. But yeah, yeah um, that's Razor JB. I guess he said he um, he's tested a couple of uh, comps. Do hold you on. really? Do you think like you really need a comp? Uh, hold on, hold on. On a handgun. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I knew it wasn't gonna last too long. The cuteness is in the building. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. At the end. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hey, what's up? Hi, everybody. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Here's <laughs> the papers. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, babe. Do you think that's? I don't think that's enough paper. It should be. It's <laughs> three pieces, man. It's like four or five, maybe. Yeah. Okay. That's not the 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 last time you had to give her like a big. Big stack. Oh, yeah, I'm almost yeah, out of like, I got yeah, like exactly. Yeah. Okay. So everyone's saying what's up to her. Very um, nice. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. what news? What other news things did you guys want to talk about? All uh, right. So uh, we, before I before oh. in my, before I could get yelled at, we have to talk about the um the the college campus shooting, man. Uh, oh right. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. So tell us what happened there, Kevin. All right. So this was uh oh, and then I got another one too. So. A Georgia Tech student uh, was, for whatever reason, willing to knife. So I'll just read you guys what it says, a quick snapshot of it. Oh, 21-year-old Scott Schultz slowly, repeatedly advancing on two Georgia Tech campus police officers, reportedly while holding a knife. If you listen closely, that's the video, Schultz can be heard telling the officer, shoot me, shoot me. After repeated warnings, one officer shot Schultz center mass, killing him. Um, and... Let's see, they say they have hired an attorney. One quote was, nobody wants to hurt you. One of the cops can be heard saying before a shot rings out and Schultz crumples to the ground screaming out, of, out in pain. Yeah, so, there, you know, obviously there's video of this and um, it's going to probably be, a, you know, one of those things that people are going to debate about because I think we were talking about this um, mm -hmm. behind the scenes because they could have maybe like just wounded him. It didn't mm -hmm. look like he was just straight out running at anyone. Uh, he was walking methodically, but so it's a couple of different ways you can address that. One is from uh, just sitting back watching it, you know, Monday night quarterback. Yeah, and, then, and then the other one is from a training aspect. And I'll tell you, uh, the, the Tula drill or the 21 foot rule exists for a reason. Um, and, and for guys that don't know what that rule is, it's basically a rule that states before you can get, although these guys have their guns unholstered, I'm just going with the general rule. Um, before you can get your gun unholstered and draw down on someone, if they're within 21 feet, they can close on you and stab you or a strike you with a blunt object or anything. And it's been proven time and time again. Uh, I, I do an example of it every time in my class with an ask for time. Um, so if you let someone in that circle, which at least to one of the cops, I can't, it was two of them, one of them I really couldn't see, one you can see really easily. Um, he was definitely with, with, within that zone. And when you start thinking about, hey, a guy has a knife, you know, uh, a blunt instrument or a sharp instrument like that, we like to think, hey, non-lethals and things of that nature. Right. Uh, the sad, the sad matter is, and I'm not saying that this young man had to die. I'm, I'm not agreeing with that. Um, I'm just taking it to a training aspect. You can hit somebody with bean balls, pepper spray, tasers. And still keep right on coming. Doesn't work all the time, right? Yeah. So, True. you know, you you hit a guy with a couple of bean bags, he still charges you, and now you're you're panicking and bagging up trying to get away. Next thing you know, you're stabbed. Um, and for people that think that bullet resistant vests, they're not bulletproof. Bullet resistant vests are not made to uh, withstand knives. When you go into a prison, those guards have on uh, stab resistant vests. They are a little bit different than bullet resistant vests. So the cops aren't armed for that kind of thing to even take one of those. It'll go right through that vest. I mean, if they have hard plates, of course yeah. the hard plate will bend metal or whatever, but if they got on soft armor like most cops do, it'll, it'll go right through that stuff. So um, you always want to, even in your, even in your personal defense lifestyle, you always want to, if you have to use that kind of force, and we hope you never do, but if you have to, you always want to be, you know, you want it to be an unfair fight. That's just what it is. You want it to be an unfair fight at that point. So you always have to take it to the next level. And unfortunately, the young man to lose his life. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, it looks like it's obvious that he wanted to commit suicide by cop. Yeah. And that's unfortunate. You know, um, yeah, that's an unfortunate thing. There's uh, lots of people that are, you know, young people that go away to college. Uh, that happens sometimes here in Gainesville, that there's some of these kids that, you know, they have some mental issues and they, you know, this is what they try to do. Unfortunately, yeah, man, when it comes down to it, if you're in that position, we could all second guess them on what they're, on what they're trying to do, like whether or not they have stun guns, if that's going to work, if it's not going to work. You know, I don't think that they want to do that thing from, from, um, 
what they're saying here and in the video, they were trying not to do anything, but yeah. And that's you know, the thing to make that unfortunate decision. Sometimes people, you know, it's, and I'll tell you, man, if you, here's one thing that people don't like, they, they, a lot of people don't understand, but I'll tell people all the time. If you can go your entire life, and I mean this, if you can go your entire life carrying a gun and never have to have the muzzle pointed at somebody, consider yourself blessed. Mm -hmm. That is a very, very interesting, humbling, adrenaline field type of situation. If you can go your entire life without ever having to have the muzzle of your gun pointed at someone, because I want you before you die, reach back with your, your your old arm and pat yourself on the back because that's to be that's to be um to be celebrated because it's it's not as easy as people like to think it is. It's really not. Yeah. It's not, you know, it's not the movies. You're not going to be super cool when it happens. It's, it's, it's not, not fun. There's nothing fun about it. No, it's not. And you got to make a fun to be in that situation and the rest of your life won't be fun either. Nope. And, you know, it was one, not that I like to quote movies, but it was a kind of a cool movie. But it was one line in the remake of SWAT. All right. I like that movie. All right. It's a pretty cool movie. Sam L, LL Cool J and all those guys. Mm -hmm. Um um, I forget his name, uh, Rainer or Reiner, but he's a pretty cool actor. But he is right when they um they got through shooting a lady at the bank and they walked into the captain's office and he said, I got um, two seconds to make a decision. And you got like, I don't know, he said like two days or two weeks or whatever, eternity to tear it apart. And that's really what it is, guys. So if you can go your entire life without doing it, please understand, because one of two things are going to happen in a situation. Things are going to speed up or they're going to slow down. And that's a proven fact. And if they speed up, if you're nervous, and most people are, I don't care how tough you try to be. And if they speed up and you're nervous, you're making decisions really, really quick that us, the peoples and the lawyers and the media can sit back for weeks and be like, I don't think you should have did that. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Would we do that? Yes, we, yes, we would. <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> we would all be Monday. What is it? Monday, Monday night quarterbacking it. Yeah. Monday night quarterbacking on you. Uh, ROS 1518 or Ross 1518 wants to know if we talked about the stuff going on in St. Louis. We yes, did, we but did. you can you can recap that a little bit, Kevin, if you wanted to, because we uh, may yes. have some people coming in now. For everyone coming in now, make sure you click that thumbs up button and share yeah. this video. Uh, yeah. So for for St. Louis, for anybody who missed it, and I'll gladly recap. I am actually um, it's gonna it's gonna sound interesting to say, but I'm actually proud of my city and the way we handled it. It could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah. um, there was definitely protest. There was definitely what they promised to be disruption, basically shutting down commerce. And they succeeded. Um, and there were always, there are always extremists in every group. So yes, there were extremists that did a little chaos and caused a little ruckus. Um, but for the most part, um, it, w it went over well. I know a lot of people are saying the police were a little bit over aggressive. No. Um, some of the police are getting on TV and they're showing off the arrests and things like that. But overall, it was nothing like what we expected it to be. It, it was very, it was very, very controlled, uh, very calm. And the weekend went by, um, with hitches, but nothing that we can't recover from in a weekend. So I would like to say that that it went over very well. It was um, it's a emotional field charge weekend. And for guys, I'm not saying this is isolated just to St. Louis, but another reason why St. Louis is always uh, willing to blow up is because we have this is a very, very divided city. Like I've been to other cities and it's not as divided as this one. Like there are clearly like one street separates if you are a certain ethnic group or not, whether you can live on that street or on that side of town. Like, it's ridiculous. So whenever something like that happens and people can use race or they can use the police against the community, the community against the police, I'm not saying either side was right or wrong, but they will take advantage of that. So the way we reacted this weekend, although it was potentially scary, uh, I'm, I'm proud of the way we overall behaved ourselves. Overall, there was always some incidents that could have been handled better, but it was pretty good. Um, we did have some property damage. We had some, uh, some damage done in a couple of suburbs in downtown, some planners broken. Uh, we did have um, uh, last count, I know it was four or five police officers that were hit with um, bricks, rocks. Not saying that that's cool, um, but you know, they um, I don't think any of them have any kind of permanent damage. They were all pretty, uh, pretty geared up. They had on their ride shields and things like that. So um, I think they'll be OK. Um, and I don't think any protesters were hurt. And like doing a Ferguson thing, we actually had people get shot, not by the police, but people just taking advantage of the chaos and shooting each other. And this time we didn't have any of that. So it was overall, it was a, a it was a weekend that we can be we can be thankful for, for what it could have been. All right. Walter, I think there was something you wanted to add. To yeah, that. I want no, well, not to the not to the St. Louis thing, but I had a question or a comment about London. 
once again, the bad guys had been arrested prior. To, oh yeah, we were talking about the London thing last week. Too. Yeah, and you know, once again, as soon as it's over with, they go right to the the, the perpetrators because they that, know who they are. <laughs> why is this? Why? Yeah, right, right. I mean. Uh, recent arrivals from Syria too, by the way. Hmm. Imagine that. No. No. Um, so, so why why does this happen? That's you know, if I was in London, I'd be saying, "What WTF over? Mm -hmm. WTF over?" I mean, you got to get these people riled up, and the 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 Londoners need to get riled. You know, I mean, you know, this this yeah, thing. it's unfortunate. I mean, this that situation is not stopping in England or in London. Or the or the girls in the girls in France that got the, the American girls that got acid thrown on them. Yeah, you know? saw that too. Yeah, that kind, that kind of monkey business. I'd hang that son of a bitch afterwards. Sorry, he'd be done. You know, I mean, uh, it was a woman that did that. Well, I don't care what it is. Yeah, no, I understand. I, I no, that you. kind of that kind of stuff is. Uh, you know. I, I don't know if they, I, they're not saying whether or not that was just like a mental health issue or that was related to some well, kind of terrorism. Typical tactic for certain group is acid. Drug. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And, I mean, and that's now migrated to Europe. And we haven't had that problem in Europe prior to certain groups migrating to Europe. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. so when does it start here? Um, there's been acid throwing here, not, um, Maybe you, some know, not, not response. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not necessarily for that reason, but yeah, you know, there has been some acid throwing stuff here in the I mean, past. that's not funny. It's not funny either. I mean, it, you mm -hmm. disfigure people. It's not, it's not funny. No, absolutely um, not, man. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter who does it. It's not funny. Yeah. So, but there needs to be serious penalties for it. My, my opinion. Um, and not excuses. Um, but anyways, my comment, that's all. No, I I totally understand where you're coming it from. It always happens with these, especially in Europe with these instances. France, as soon as, the, as soon as the culprits run somebody over, they go right to their house and they arrest them. Mm -hmm. like, why, did, why didn't you get rid of these people before that? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. yeah. They, they have less, those people in those countries have less rights than we have. You know, they don't have constitutions in France and they don't have Bill of Rights and all that stuff. Yet they let this monkey business go on. So I don't it's know. you know it's true, man. I wish I had an answer for it. I don't know. You know, they've just got too many people. I think if you want like a, a realistic answer of what's going on there, there's a, just a crap ton of people. I think if well, they if they arrested everyone that they knew was a threat, well, not, I'm not talking about prisons, arresting. I'm talking they don't about have they don't have enough prison uh, space. No, 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 no. I'm not about arresting them after the fact. Arrest mm -hmm. them before and send them back where they came from. No, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I'm the whole you, family, think, not just the yeah, one, but, but, the, but the, whole threat, the threat is so big. You know, well, you have to problem. be pro, you have to be proactive. It's not yeah. something that's you know. Unfortunately, I totally not, agree with you. I think that yeah. that's the problem, though. They're facing this thing where it's just so huge, and they have so many people that are coming at them. That yeah, they're aware of these guys, they're, but they're they scared. can't do anything until something goes down, and they're then scared. that, that yeah, doesn't say anything for the families of people who were hurt in that. Right, stuff. right, right. They have no, they have no recourse. Yeah, you know, terrible. Yeah, absolutely. Um, unfortunately, so yeah. and, but anyways, that's just my observation. That's all. No, it's you know <laughs> I get it. Um, so I know you're always watching the uh, weather news, Walter. I think we got a category oh, yeah. five Look brewing out there. What's going on with that? Chugga 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 chugga. Those yeah. poor people in those islands in the in the in the Caribbean. Oh my God! Yeah. They got a a, a a category four hurricane steaming right at them again. Yeah, is that, it a category four or category five? Did it get upped? When I guess when it hits like Puerto Rico, it's supposed to be a four. So okay, and it's going to go right over a lot of those places that went last time. Yeah, it says um, of the two storms, however, Maria is the much more serious hurricane, upgraded to category five. Yeah, so Monday evening. Yeah, wow. you can't win for losing out there. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care how beautiful the islands are when it's not storming. I don't know, man. That's a. That's like there's always a gun pointing at you. Just wait. Yeah. Somebody to pull the like uh, you know, Puerto Rico needs one more thing. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Well, yeah. I wonder, they don't. I wonder they don't need one more thing. To be I, honest. I wonder who's, right now. Puerto wonder Rico who's, doesn't need and no more problems. No. I wonder who's gonna pay for that mess. Um. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but you know, those poor people. Yeah, because it's always the um the less fortunate to suffer. So, the most. Yeah. yeah, and I think Haiti's in the sight of it again too, and that's the oh, last really? damn thing Haiti needs. I mean, yeah. oh my God, you know, 
Those poor people have been abused by the Clinton so bad, they don't know which way's up. So, <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to apologize yeah. in there. <laughs> um, this is totally unrelated. I see. Looks okay. like uh, Toys R Us is filing bankruptcy. Pretty really? Soon here, yeah. Toys R Us uh, going the way of the dodo. Well, bear. thank you to the internet. You know, I mean, yeah. Um, uh, my my son's not going to be happy. That's not at all. You know, we got there. That's a, that's a Lego place. You know, you get Lego in Toys R Us. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. Oh well. So I, I don't um, like to see that either, actually. So I don't know if there's anyone here that would have watched the Emmys. I don't watch that kind of crap oh, anymore. God, no. I mean, back in, are, back in the old days when it was actually kind of entertaining. Yeah. I don't really even watch TV that much. I see that Sean Spicer did some stuff. That's interesting, man. All these people that were like in the Trump administration, when they get out, they just like it's what almost happened? it's almost like those plays that they're putting on in New York, you know, or something out of uh, Caesar. Now, correct yeah, me. But they're, like, they're all stabbing up. As soon as they get out, they're like throwing blows. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's a naval officer, right? Spicer? I don't know. Yeah, he's in the, he's a reservist in the Navy, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Right. What's I funny is they lampoon that guy, man. They lampoon him, and he goes right to Hollywood. I I there's. So you can't you can't talk about the commander in chief when you're in the in the in the military. They're, it's not it's like talking about your 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 officers that are above you. You know. Yeah. I don't how. To, but well, know. what's weird about it to me is that when he was actually in the White House, those guys were lampooning him, man. I mean, they were like, you know, they you were know, digging a new one for him. Everybody. And the changes. first thing he does is go out there. Yeah. Everybody changes when they get a little cash thrown at them. So yeah. And that's probably what's happened. But that that's gives you a little bit of indication of what's going on inside the White House, man. It's insane. Uh, that gives you a little indication of his character, too. Sorry. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, you know, I mean, you, ultimately, you know. He must have got he must have been doing pretty hard. Yeah. You know, because people don't usually flip unless they get really poked hard in the butt. So he yeah. must have really got poked hard in the butt and he's pissed. So or he feels yeah. he got poked hard in the butt. So. Right. So now we were talking about the hurricanes and I'm trying to remember who I think it was Lawrence Lerwick that was um, asking me about this um, article. This is on guns.com. Thieves okay. steal 35 guns from Daytona Beach pawn shop during Hurricane Irma. Oh, yeah, we got it. Um, if that wasn't Lawrence Lerwick, whoever it was, just let me know and I will give you a shout out. Yeah. ATF sent out a, a robocall to everybody saying, you know, secure your stuff and if you got a bug out, you're supposed to file a form. <laughs> Anytime you have NFA stuff, you have to file a 5320. If so, because if you got a bug out, you're obviously not taking all that with you. Well, you know. So yeah. you okay. file a form or make a record of you, you filed the form because they probably got inundated with forms. But um, okay, if you're yeah. taking it, yeah. If so you're this going out of state. Yeah. So now during the hurricane, because I know I got a call after the hurricane from the ATF because I am an FFL, and I got a call from from the ATF wanting to know, you know, if we lost anything <laughs> during the hurricane, which we didn't. Yeah, I, so, didn't, get, I didn't get one of those. So Yeah, uh, and this was an actual person, not a robocall. So right. this is what the uh, headline is. Thieves steal 35 guns from Daytona Beach pawn shop during Hurricane Irma. A pair of burglars stole jewelry and nearly three dozen guns from a Daytona Beach pawn shop during Hurricane Irma last week. Thieves broke into Volusia Gold and Diamond twice wow. during the early morning nice. hours of September 11th <laughs> through an air conditioning vent, according to report from the Daytona Beach News Journal. Wow. The suspects smashed a glass case with a hammer before making off with 35 guns. Owner Gus Osta called the burglars bastards. And bastard. cowards. <laughs> he a bastard. Yes. In an interview with the paper Friday, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives offers a four thousand dollar reward for any information in the case. By the way, it is a federal offense to steal handgun or uh, firearms from a licensed firearms dealer. Yeah, it's a the federal offense. It's yeah. a federal offense. Yeah, the National Shooting Sports Foundation pledged to match the reward dollar for dollar, according yeah. to. <laughs> so that's eight thousand dollars if you know those dudes. Yeah, for, yeah. For ratting them out. Yeah, yeah. You know what? There's another interesting, uh, not as good as that one, but there's another small one um, out here about. I um, know if you guys heard about the the gun found in um, South Bend that belongs to the police department, and the cops don't know which cop gun it is. They just know it's their gun. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! They Wait, don't go know. back. Rewind on that again. There's a lot of information. They, right don't, yeah. they don't know who it was issued to. No, wait, yeah. wait go back, go back. Start over. Start let over. Me read, let me read this to you. 
<laughs> All right, so let me, let me find the highlights. All right, so. Okay, there it is. Okay. I'll read a little bit. So, News Center 16, Joel Porter. This is out of uh, South Bend, Indiana, I'm assuming. Uh, so, News 16, Joel Porter found, so the news found, uh, a loaded gun with SBPD, which is South Bend Police Department, stamped mm -hmm. on the slide, and South Bend Police Chief Scott, I won't even try to say his last name, confirmed the gun belongs to his department. And then when you read the rest of the article, they have no idea who the gun belongs to because nobody has reported it stolen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that is a bunch of malarkey. I'm gonna say that's that's malarkey. Yeah, that they would say in Indiana. That's malarkey. Yeah, and he said we don't comment on pending or internal investigations, but I. So they found a gun. It belongs to a police officer, but no one reported anything's missing. That's what you're saying. Yes. Yep. Because he said that the chief says we don't comment on pending or internal investigations. But I can't confirm the firearm. Yeah. Belongs so the so the serial number they should know. I think Al Chervik is saying that you know they yeah, should they, know they, who they that belongs to. It is. They know who it is. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Did it? Weren't we talking last week about? Remember the bonehead cop chick in New York that yeah, locked the yeah, stuff yeah. in her trunk and then someone stole her her bulletproof vest, everything, guns, everything, all kinds of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We've had that happen several times. Yeah. Mister Sungun says that's fake news. Oh, it is. I don't know. Right. Um, did you did you sh give us a link of that article? Yeah, I put it in there. It's a WNDU sixteen out of South Bend, Indiana. Hmm. Okay, I put put it in there. I mean, if it's fake, it's a pretty good fake. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You never know. <laughs> Maybe it's I'll check up on it. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I'll check up on it right okay. now. Okay, yeah. You, you call it, get your sources, man. Get them going here. Um, yeah, Let's yeah. That's see. a that's a bunch of malarkey, as I said. So yeah. Um, yeah. Shout out! Shout out to my friend. Mike Fry from Stag Arms. He's Mike telling me he's just watching us right now. Oh, you know. So he got you got in here kind of late, Mike. But you know, I'd like to invite you to actually come on the show. Yeah. Hang out with us so we could talk about Stag Arms. Yeah, or anything else yeah. you want to talk about. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think he's going to want to talk about Stag Arms. But yes, well, you are welcome <laughs> to come on here, and we could talk about sex and. You know how it always you know, goes off, and like we, we start talk talking about, about augmenting your junk. You know, sometimes having, you need to augment your job. Ramen noodles, ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah, ramen noodles. <laughs> we can talk about anything. We talk about a lot of craziness on here. I think you'd have Oh, fun. hey, let me bring you'd up that fun. IO that, you know, me and me and Mr. Strange did a little swapping over the weekend here. I see a lot of, there's a lot of instances of this thing. So I don't know. I'm not sure why it's saying, anyone's saying it's fake news, but. Uh, oh, I, it's probably not. I don't know. I don't think it is probably. Yeah, and he's he's texting me right now to say he's hearing us talking about him. So oh, what come on chief? and join the yeah. Oh, no, Mike uh, Mike Fry. Yeah. Oh, come I thought on. the chief of police was. No, come uh, on and join the fun, man. We would love to talk about stag yeah. arms. I think stag arms make some cool guns. PVS fourteen. Yeah, that's cool stuff. You know, they make some left handed do you know about stag arms, Kevin? Oh, I know about stag. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. I know about stag. Stag, yeah. stag was the mother of all left handed AR fifteen. Yeah. They're in Connecticut, God bless them. They're oh, in that's a, a tough place to work in a gun. Yeah, business. it's yeah. a tough place to be a gun to be a gun company, but they're there. Yeah, you know yeah. they are good guys, though. That's funny. Arms. I always I always I always laugh about that part of the country, the place where the country was born, freedom. You know, <laughs> the British are coming, and now it's like oh, the first God. place to die. I don't like my guns. I don't want any guns. Yeah, <laughs> it's going full circle. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But they are good guys. I would like to get them to come on. Um, Stag Arms actually gave us a Bones version of their 308 that were given away. And, um, you know, and then Brownells came in and gave us a whole bunch of parts to put on there because Bones is like the stripped out version. There's OEM. no handguard, no stock. Yeah, OEM, I guess. Yep. And um, so they gave us that. And then Brownells actually gave us all the other parts most of it there's um there's a few there's a few things that came from somewhere else and then WMD guns WMD guns that does uh Nibex they you know they do that whole nickel boron finish thing they're going to actually finish it up that's where the gun is right now and on Thursday I'm going to have the owner of WMD guns on the show all right cool talking about the finish and everything that's going on um and he, you know, he's gonna. We're gonna talk a little bit about that whole build for people who want to know when we're gonna give that away. Because what's gonna happen is we've got to get that finished, everything put together, and then I'm gonna go up there and we're gonna make a video, and then after that we're gonna give it away. Mike Fry says Connecticut license plates say the Constitution states. Yeah, and so much for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so ironic. 
Yeah. Yeah. So when you get a lot of a lot of guys in um in the Midwest don't run a lot of stack stuff, and they should. I'm like, that's one thing I try to do is introduce people to different stuff. Like every, guys always pick up the same thing and are scared to venture out. <laughs> like they both are the same people, you know. Yeah, it's right. You know, it's, it's, it's a good gun. It's a good gun. But yeah, I know I know a few lefties around here though that run stacks because they, you know, get them left handed. I think so. Yeah, they've got some good stuff. I think you know, there's 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 a few good gun companies up there, or they're making good things up in Connecticut. Shout out to Exhale. He's in the building. Exhale, you know, um, he says he got his Lantac Glock barrel. It's pretty badass. Mm. So Exhale has those 80% uh, frames from Polymer 80 that he he customizes those and oh, yeah, okay. stipples them, does some really cool stuff. We're going to get something from him and bring it on and show you guys. I think 904, 904 Outdoors has um, something from there that they have a video up. I saw, I think Steve was in here earlier. I don't know. Well, maybe not. He's always in here, so you don't know. Steve is always lurking. Me run for president? Mutiny for the cat? You know, I always envisioned myself as a president for at That'd least part. You know, what position am I getting when you become president? You know, you're, want the, you're, the, you're the you're the minister of um um of chaos. Defense? Chaos. Oh, You'd be the person. The, the the you know how there's a there's an official um cabinet, mm -hmm. and then you know Obama had his his personal cabinet of all his friends. Mm -hmm. You know that were the ones that were the real cabinet, and the other ones were just mm -hmm. figureheads. Right. So I do the same thing, man. Yeah, I want to be in charge of the nuclear codes. That's it. Well, I want the nuclear codes, and I want to be sitting behind the button, and you know, I will be bombing the shit out of some people. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! You make me look bad as a president, <laughs> man. This we wouldn't be having this debate about North Korea too long. Hey, you, you think they wouldn't mind a shooting range in the in the Rose Garden? Come on! Oh, that'll be awesome. Oh man, I tell you what. NFA we'll have all kinds of guns, man. We'll make NFA all for guns. everybody. Yeah, NFA I'm for you, everyone. Machine guns, legal. Everything. Suppressors, legal. What what kind of paperwork, tax stamp, nonsense? That's not happening. All that all that yeah. import garbage, done. Then yeah, Chris Vector for you, Chris Vector for you, Chris Vector for you. You want to you want a PKM? <laughs> have a PKM. Yeah. Over there. Have one of those. Uh, you know, it's like a yeah. Machine guns for everybody. Yeah. Uh, be, oh, yeah. Mutually assured destruction. It's evil. Yeah. If everybody knows, it's very polite when everybody's armed. Correct. Yeah, we're gonna be balling. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna uh, be balling. Get rid of all that fuel stuff on vehicles, so we can have some. Uh, you know, you want your V12 in your in your in your truck, and man, you go full on V12, baby. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> and I will time. build the first presidential submarine slash yacht slash <laughs> aircraft. Party bus. Party bus. Yeah, like something from uh, GI Joe or something like that, man. <laughs> Where the that top opens be. up and your and your jet flies out the top. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Check okay. Check. So yeah. All right. So I know you gotta um you gotta get going, right, Kevin? Right. Um. But right. before I do, I want to say um um thanks to everybody. I got some family stuff to do tonight. But thanks to uh, everybody that's uh, talking and subbing and subscribing. I even know we had somebody donate some money to your calls tonight. Uh, so that is awesome. Um. Uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the love. Uh, thanks for all the, not, especially from this channel, I want to thank all the guys that were hitting me up individually asking about my family's safety over the weekend. I thought, think that was pretty, pretty awesome and pretty nice. Um, thank you for that. And thank you for the laughs and concerns um, today. Before I go, hold on. And um, yeah. oh boy, I'll make sure that uh, we got it. <laughs> uh, but I will uh, definitely be back on soon, I'm sure. But thank you guys. Have a great evening. I hope you guys wrap up the, the conversation and, um, Lead them on to the next one. So um, be sure to check out NOC Firearms Training on um, Facebook, NOC Firearms Training on YouTube, and at NOC Firearms on um, Training on uh, Instagram. And I'm going to do my best Saturday um, to go live as we blow up stuff. Ooh. All right, cool. And and um, Walter and I promise that we will absolutely talk about you once you get off air. I'm pretty sure you will. <laughs> Walter, I'm pretty sure you will, too. All right. <laughs> I know we'll talk about you. See, at least we're telling you that we're going to talk about you. <laughs> you. You know, well, one of you is honest. Yeah. And it's not true. <laughs> All right, man. So go be safe. Have fun with the family. Say what's up for us. All right, we guys. appreciate yeah, you coming man. out. All right. Peace. Peace. Yeah. So let's begin talking bad about Kevin right All now. All right, Kevin, Kevin, man. Yeah, man, those damn hats. I can't. 
I like those H. That that's you like Bernie Adamo. Oh. oh, you're an HK fan. Do you know the HK? I'm a closet HK fan. Oh, that, yeah, right? you're okay. You're a closet. Lots of stuff, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you know, I mean, you're the one that's an Anglophile. Uh, as, as so you say, yes. Yeah. So you say, yes. Yeah, yeah uh, Vanessa Kitty says, Hank, do you know how strong our nuclear weapons are? <laughs> so, no, I don't. No, I do. Actually, well, I, I do. I'm just kidding. I'm just he kidding. Do that. I, will, I promise I will only bomb three places. <laughs> Uh, and that's it. Three places. Three places. No, that's it. I will limit my bomb into three places. Three it's places. like it's like with the genie, you get three wishes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I will minimize my bombing. <laughs> you know, I will minimize using those Moabs and stuff like that. Now, Moabs are fine. That's that's conventional. You can Moab. Oh, so all those you I could do as many as you I want. Slide that right up their backside. Oh. And, you know. Oh, okay. Boom. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. The nuclear stuff though will. Yeah, that's, that's only three. It's dirty, man. It goes around the whole world. It goes right yeah, back. Yeah, that's on true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want none of that stuff on me. You know? I don't think we. Re I don't really think we need to go that route. I think we can take care of a lot of this stuff, yeah. you know, without doing that. We'll see. You yeah. Know? Let's hope not. But you know. Yeah. Sometimes there comes a time. Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we all have young, uh, uh, young men in the family. So let's uh, keep that to a minimum. Yeah, you know, I think to I think to avoid all those things, man, we got to be tough and kick some people's asses. You know, uh, North so North well. Korea is not messing around, man. They they you know. Well, so yeah, unfortunately, our former presidents let it get to a point where it's hard to go back, um, and that's all their faults, Republican and Democrat. So, um, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you know. At the end of the day, we're always, uh, you know. <laughs> we're, we're all to blame <laughs> yeah it could be yes uh yeah um so vanessa kitty wants to know if i want to know how strong yeah let, yeah hit me with it uh, i'd like to know oh uh what's up with the nuclear arsenal all you have to are do we is... good are we not good with the nuclear ars arsenal you know i'd like to know yeah i well hit, can i tell you something when you become president you know what i really want to know what's that it's a couple things I want to know if there's really like a secret notebook hidden in the in the that presidential desk. I forgot the book you of know, national treasure. Yeah, the book of secrets. Secret I want to know yes, about that. Yes, yeah. I want to know about the aliens. Of course, everybody I want does. Some alien technology. I want yeah, to go yeah, for a yeah. spin in the one yeah. of the flying saucers. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to drive one of the flying saucers <laughs> around. Jason. Yeah, and I want a full tour of all the you know all the hooker holes in the White House. Oh, uh, you know what I'd like to do is just go play in the tunnels. And I, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, all the, yeah, just all the little from, secret passageways and everything. Go from they, building the pop up in the like treasury, it. pop up in here, pop up. Hey guys, what's up, man? Gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be cool too. I know. could imagine being like a like the kid in the White House. Yeah, that'd be must be fun. Man. Uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, I don't know if it's as much fun as they make it uh, when they. When they put it in movies, so Vanessa Kitty saying retired USAF uh, sergeant. So there okay. you go. Probably knows something about um, Some tactical. What's nukes. going on there? Yeah, and then shout out to Mutiny for the cat says definitely want to see Area Fifty One. I want to see oh. all the areas lead it up to Fifty One. Well, I yeah, just see that area, area for, for those for those folks out there that don't know anything about that area, that's a huge reservation, so to speak, mm -hmm. and there's lots of different areas. That they've tested things and blown up bombs. They melted down a reactor out there too, a small reactor to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. So there's some areas out there that you can't even go because it's like um, dead zone, hot. Yeah, I area. guarantee you this. There's, there's something in Area 51, but there's an Area 51 is there's a, some new areas that you can't see yeah. that are beyond 51 where they're doing the really cool stuff. So yeah, that's a diversion area. So. Yeah, Vanessa Kitty says we are more than good in explosive power. Yeah, you know yeah, what? But yeah, here's yeah. the thing: if there's an area fifty-one, then there's an area one. Two, yes, there is. Exactly. Three, right, four, right, right, right. going all the way up to fifty, and then fifty-one. Then there's probably like fifty-two. <laughs> <laughs> they tested. Whatever. They did all that, um, you know, weapons testing out there too. So there's areas where they did above ground testing, below ground testing. Yeah. I was looking at a Looney Tunes movie. <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw the. There's this Looney Tunes movie that cracks me up. I always watch it if I see it coming on. It has Brendan Fraser uh -oh. and a bunch of other people because it's like live action and cartoons. Right, right, and right, in right. there, they go to this place, and the woman's like, there is no such thing 
as Area 51, that's just a ruse. And it's like, oh, for what? That Oh, so people don't find out about Area 52. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Area 41. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So right. there you go. Michael yeah. Smith says Area 51 was just a map grid coordinate. Correct. And there's lots of other areas. Yeah. Um, I, well, I won't. Well, anyways, my sister used to work for an elevator company and she told me that it's, it's deep below area 51. So I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. yeah. Deep. There's, there's stuff in there that we all don't know about. Deep, deep, deep. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. we'll leave it at that. Time wants to tell you this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess the uh, Tyvin Show wants us to talk about the SHARE Act passing out of committee and being formally introduced. So we were talking about that before. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Came out of, it came out of committee, but, you know, it still has some steps. If you ever follow that whole thing, what does it take to become a bill on Capitol Hill and oh, actually, wow. like, wind up on the president's desk? <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay. I, <laughs> if, it, if it gets that far, it'll, it'll probably look a little different than it is now, but... Um, like we were talking about, there's the suppressor part. There's the part about importing firearms, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's a bunch of good things in there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it would be cool nice stuff. if this becomes a thing. But like I said, my sources say nothing's happening this year. Until well, next the year, um, mid midterms. Yeah, next year is not that far away. So no, no. hey, if it it'll take that, year, it'll, I'll take it. It'll take that long and it, get it in people's mind and get the people talking about it. And yeah, it's, you know. Yeah. It, nothing so, moves. Nothing moves fast there. So yeah. So Joe Carpenter is throwing out the con the numbers conspiracy. What's he that? says seven point one four times seven point one four equals area fifty one. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> it's, I don't know. Some kind of mathematic uh, proof of aliens. Oh, alien okay. life existing. You Why? Know? Okay. Uh, we're saying uh, random to see, right, right on right on the sea. Why is eight <laughs> millimeter ammo so expensive? Um. Well, probably because of the fact that they're not importing a lot of the cheap stuff. And part of the fact is some of those people overseas have gotten smart and don't sell it as cheap as they used to. Um, um, oh, because they realize, like, they realize they jack up the price on us? Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. I think it's probably got a lot to do with the importers knowing that they can get more for it, too. Um, mm -hmm. So... There's a lot of different factors. They're still being made. It's still being used overseas. There's, there's no reason. I mean, um, just and, and and during the Obama administration, import permits were hard to get too. What I understand. So, yeah, you know, a lot of different factors. So I saw that you know Hillary. I saw there was some news like Hillary it, it might contest the election. <laughs> she thought about doing that. You know what? You know what would have happened? It, it, it's like, it, yeah. it's like you know Trumpism been doing this voter verification thing and they're finding there was tons and tons and tons of fraud on her mm -hmm. side so okay. it, it wouldn't have went well probably it's probably not a wise thing to do you know it's like it's like opening that that box what pandora's box you know and all yeah. of a sudden it's like oh wait a minute oh there's twenty thousand dead people voting oh they're all democrats too by the way that, you know? Yeah, I noticed that the whole Russia thing has simmered down a little bit. Yeah, it's still going in the backgrounds, but yeah, uh -huh. I think that's opening areas they didn't want to be opened either. Um, but mm -hmm. it's being run by a bunch of Democrats, so just wasting money. That's what I'm saying. No yeah. one's gonna. By the way, any of you impeachers, nobody's gonna get impeached. Nobody's gonna quit. <laughs> You're <laughs> foolish to think that. So, or even even suggest it. And your favorite news, your favorite news network Fox is news. getting Laura Il Ingram. Laura Ingram is going yeah, over she's there. A, she's a conservative commentator. Mm -hmm. you know? um, yeah, I was thinking I was thinking today about Fox News, how it used to be Fox News, you know, and it's not so much anymore. It's, well, you, it's getting defoxed? Well, it's not as much as it used to be. I mean. So um, you, you're gonna, are you going to stop watching? I don't watch too much Fox News. Yeah. I read about you know the who I think should, You know who I think should make a news network? Who's that? Hooters. I want Hooters news. <laughs> Today in the news, we have, oh, the claiming yeah. report. Um, I want to see the weather girl in the Hooters news. That's not, I know something. Yeah. No, I know what you're saying, but you know, there's like just too many um, 
th- there's too much like sexual harassment charges going on at Fox. You know, so Fox is going to go one way or the other. It's going to be all dudes, no, which I doubt, no. or it's just going to be all chicks. There won't be any dudes over there at all. It'll calm down and they'll go right back like it was. Yeah, so. which I'm fine with them. You know, I mean, I know it's terrible, but I'll be fine with it being all women over there. I don't watch Fox except if I'm in like in a hotel or something like that. Well, I don't. I don't watch it yeah. on the on the cable too much anymore. It's just I just read there on the website. That's all right. You know? Yeah. All right. So do you want to talk about some gun stuff? What kind of guns? You got some guns over there, man? No, I don't. Well, I do. Yeah, I do. But they're all put away right now. Yeah. Oh, you can't. You can't I was, well, I can't dig them all out so I can put yeah, them all away. Get some for guns five minutes. Out? How about yeah, a magazine? You know, Anybody I mean, have magazine envy? Yeah. What kind of magazines you got? Let's see. AK drum mag. Okay. Oh, is that, that fully coming? loaded? Nice. No, because uh, um, Babyface only put about five rounds in, and he got discouraged because it was too much work. So, if you're listening, Pat, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Um, anybody do AK folding stocks? A little bit of stock. Someone, uh, some gun says twenty millimeter. <laughs> Give me some twenty millimeter. Oh wait, well you know. All right. If you want some twenty millimeter, I'll give you some twenty millimeter, and I hope everybody's happy. Then, um, let's see. Uh, the Tyvin Show says the complete state of California is now a sanctuary state. Just passed today. Oh well, poor poor things. Oh man, uh, Vanessa Kitty says Hooters in Arlington, Texas, last decade had free bear for a while. Wow, they're balling in uh, for, Tex- free- Oh, what is this? What is this? This is 20 millimeter mag. Oh, nice. But the it's smell. Oh, there's something about that. What is that? Is that lacquered? No, it's just, it's blued. Oh, it's blued. Okay. But it's just nice. That Wait. thing's about as big as your head, and that's saying a lot. Look at that. That's massive. That's like a boom box. You could turn that into a boom box. <laughs> Have you ever seen those guys that take different containers and make them into radios yeah. and speakers yeah. and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, you know, only guys I know do that take ammo cans and make them into speakers. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that um, would be nice, but I'm guessing that those um 20 millimeter magazines are not easy to come by. Um. Well, they're about. They're about a hundred bucks a piece. Ooh. Okay. How many so, do you have? <laughs> it's not a matter of coming by. It's a matter of uh. You know, dropping the, dropping the jack form. So yeah, the do re mi. How many of yeah. them do you have? Um, I have um four or five. Four or five. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I was just so, wanted to. I mean, are you look? Are you in the market for more twenty? If the price now? is right, sure. Okay, uh, but, but if it's I'm, less than a hundred bucks, and they're in nice condition and things like that, possibly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mike Bryant. He's got to go. All right. Peace out, Mike Bryant. He's got to go. Nighty night. Yeah. Um, night. Yeah. yeah, come on. What else you got for you us? Got bailing out, man. I don't, you know, gosh, you know, you put me on the spot here. Okay, um, one more thing, and then we'll be out. One more thing. One more thing. One more, one thing. more thing. Show the people some awesomeness. Awesomeness. What do we got here of awesomeness? Oh heck, man, you do come on. something awesome. awesome that we haven't seen. Yeah. You know, something amazing. No pressure. No pressure at all. Not at all. None at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think I come talk. on. Go for go. Dig deep. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, oh, I, uh, I don't know, Hank. You're, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. Um, you've seen a lot of what? No, there's some stuff in this. No, I'm not digging. Yeah, we that. haven't seen something. What is that? I see some kind of bazooka behind you. There's I know a, not everyone's seen that. Maybe some people have seen. The all right, let me, let me grab that thing. Hang on a second here. Yeah, I'll get it. Let me unplug this mic here. All right, now we can talk. Okay. Okay, bazooka ness. Let's see here. For those, for yes. Those. Hold it up. Go back there. Yeah. Go back. Go further back and hold it up. Now go to the left a little bit. Go to the left. You can I can't see myself. To the, the other left. You can help Walter out. Yeah. There you go. End it. There you go. No. Walter's showing us a bazooka. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Now you can walk up on us with that. Wow. That thing. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that gun. Okay. See people. I got you. Now what exactly is this? This is a pretty big. Uh, it is a three and a half inch um, bazooka. That's uh, this one was made in Spain, actually. Yeah, that one's pretty big because usually they're about like half that size, right? I've yeah, seen that's that's old school. There, that yeah. that fires the three and a half inch <laughs> round, which is um, one like this. Wow. Okay. 
So yeah, very nice, very nice. Those were um, post World War II through Korea, yeah. even some Vietnam, and then we went to different things after that, and then um, but other parts of the world still use them. So yeah. I think we're going to make that the thumbnail instead of Kevin and his crazy wearing three, four hats that say HK on them. Uh, you know, we're not, we're not going to. Bazooka. Yeah, uh, we'll throw up the bazooka instead. Uh, uh, Rod, M, Rod M2C says keg 12, keg 12. I, I don't have any here at, the, at home. Yeah. They're all, the, they're all yeah, the shop. We'll bring it. Yeah, I didn't, bring, I didn't bring one in today. Uh, what do I think of the KSG? I like the KSG. Yeah, don't you have a KSG? Yes, I do. You want to see a KSG? You want some KSG? You got a KSG there? Yeah, I've got one too. I got right, a KSG let's here. Let's see. Pull let's it see. out. Pull it out, man. Oh, I, I see it. KSG. I see it. I got it. Uh -oh. I got it in my sights. Oh, well, let's uh -oh. see here. Also, I have one of these sitting here too, which this is for another a day too. First gen. Oh, uh, sub two K. First gen sub. Yeah. Uh, is it forty nine? What? Nine Glock mag. Oh, okay. You know what? We we were supposed to do like a, a, a all Caltech video. Yeah, I got a. Yeah. My my for those. Other I think we're supposed to do that with uh, Nate Love. For other owners out there of those first gen ones, anybody else have a? Mine doesn't like to work very well. Anybody else have the same kind of issues? Um, did you ever send it back to Caltech? No, no. Yeah, you should send it to Caltech. Let them go through it for you. Yeah, it never. Um, it just never, don't tell them, you know, anything about me. No. All if right. They say if they say to you, uh, "Do you know Hank Strange?" Go, uh, -uh. no. Hank who? Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's that's how you do it. All that, right. Man. Let's see. Let's see. Wait a second. You're wearing an alien shirt. <laughs> no, 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 that's not alien shirt. Oh this no. This is actually the. Um, this is the Fun one shirt. that they did as a fundraiser for uh, Chris Kyle's wife. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. That bastard Jesse Ventura that was sooner. Oh, right, right. Okay, let's see your KSG. He should rot in hell. <laughs> okay. I hope he does. <laughs> Walter, Walter's not a fan of Jesse Ventura. There you go. No, you don't I, uh, I ain't got time to play. Yeah. Okay, let's see the KSG. There you go. Do you know that there's a SBS version of the KSG? Yes, I've seen that. That's awesome, too. Yeah. Now, what do you think about the what do you think about the twenty four inch barrel version? That's that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's just silly. That's some crazy assery. That's some California. Bullshit. Like, why do you need why do you need a twenty four inch KSG the that defeats the purpose? Gun, the whole point of this gun is to be small. Yeah, it's crazy, and it's like thirteen, fourteen hundred bucks. Yeah, that's silliness. You can get these. You can get these less for seven hundred, less than seven hundred dollars, depending on where you look. Yeah. And um, this thing, I shot the mini shells in it. You can have twenty-four mini shells in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> By the time you get done, you're like you're standing in a cloud of smoke. It's like a Looney Tunes thing or something. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We should do that KSG thing one of these days. I just have to remember to bring all my uh, the Caltech thing. Excuse me. Bring all my Caltechs in because you've got a bunch of Caltech stuff, right? I got a couple things. Yeah. 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 So maybe yeah, we'll I never I never had any problems with mine. This is like I think second gen. Mm -hmm. I know people had problems. Um when they finally became available and they were everywhere, they were no problem to get anymore. For the longest time you couldn't get them anywhere. So Yeah, you can get them everywhere now. Yeah. Okay, so let's you want to wrap it up, man. Let's uh let's, let's wrap this up. What do you want to tell the what do you want to remind the folks of out there? Oh, the typical stuff, Facebook, Instagram, stendparts.com, safety ever firearms. Um what else? Uh, oh, you know, uh, mower death. If you like to run lawnmower, we got to kill some lawnmowers. We got to find some lawnmowers. Yeah. Next um, time you come out, bring you'll bring some lawnmowers to the hacienda. Where am I gonna we'll make it? we'll make some mower death videos. Yeah, I'm all for it. We just I got to get some running mowers. That's the thing, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we hear people cry how they're shooting. Actually, my, my Chris needs a learning lawnmower. So oh wait, I, that's the rule. The mower has to be running, but when you blow it up, yeah, you don't it up. Shoot, oh, okay. Don't shoot non-running mowers. Come on. Oh. Okay. You didn't fire I don't know me. why my crazy mind thought that they were not running, and you that's why. Fire, fire and brimstone, you know. You go, uh, okay, so these mowers are moving, and we're blowing them up. The engines, the engines running. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. What we've yeah, typically that's... done in the past, you don't have a lot of grass on your place, but we would mow their death spot, mm -hmm. make it all nice and civilized, and then just execute them without. Okay. Your... 
It sounds like fun. I'm up for it. So we'll, <laughs> we'll have to figure out how to do that. All right. So um, make sure you check out Safety Harbor Firearms. They're on Facebook and Instagram. Walter's got an Instagram page. Lots of good stuff going on. Don't forget about um, Kevin and NLC Firearms. Yep. Kevin Dixie, he's on all kinds of social media as well, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. Um, also, I want to thank everyone that's been hanging out with us in the chat. It's been good. It's been fun. It's a Monday. We've had fun. We've made trouble. We've done all kinds of different – we've gone the whole spectrum in yeah, this show. All over the place, man. Yeah. I want to shout out everyone that um, the sponsors the Hank Strange situation. That would be Rand CLP. Safety yep. Harbor Firearms, that's where Walter's from. And uh, Andrew's Custom Leather, and of course, these guys, Big Daddy Guns. Big, Big Daddy, Daddy. Guns. That's who gives us the space and all that kind of stuff, and that's where we got the uh, Chris Vector. Yeah, that's where that came from. <laughs> huh? I said, that's where that came from, yeah. That's yeah, exactly, yeah. So, you know, Walter helps us out with a lot of cool guns as well. A lot yeah. of cool guns that you see on the channel also come from Safety Harbor Firearms. So, you know, yeah, big thanks, Harbor. Walter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've got more. We've got a whole bunch. We still have full auto stuff we haven't shot, right? I didn't even mention that lovely inner ordinance pistol I got from you either today. Oh, yeah, there you go. Inner ordinance. Um, probably tomorrow you want to complain yeah, we'll say, about I'll it. I'll bring some parts in and show everybody that thing. Yeah, so. you come back. And I invite you should definitely be here on Thursday because on Thursday we're going to have uh, Wynn, who's the owner of WMD Guns. So we're going to have uh, Wynn here. And uh, to, on Wednesday we actually have Patrick R., so I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing you won't be here Wednesday. No, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll watch that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. And, um, you know, I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow, but I want to thank everyone for watching. And I especially want to thank the folks that support us on Patreon. We are Patreon slash Hank Strange. And if you're a Patreon of ours, you will find that we have this Chris Vector video that we're talking about. It's on there. And yeah, at some stay, point it'll go. Stay tuned for the AK pistol one too. So yeah, the AK pistol one will be coming up next. We got a bunch of. I am still doing regular videos. I'm all. I'm always working for you guys, making videos. Yeah, we're shooting that, shooting that K and M arms gun with the scope on it this weekend too. Yeah. Yep. We yep. We were doing. Um, we were doing a primary arms. Uh, the platinum. We've got some more to do with that. We got like a bunch of videos coming, so you guys will see that. Get to shoot, see me shoot that bullpup in the wrong hand, in the uh, uh, left-handed when it's a, uh, it's a right-hand gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's you did pretty good. And of course, we've got a video up right now with Reed from um, Valor Ridge, and we'll have some more stuff with Reed, huh? Pulling some numbers. Yeah, yeah, it's doing pretty good. People enjoying checking out Reed's uh, personal Daniel Defense rifle, and I've got another video coming with Reed where he is. Um, where we're showing like the actual class and we're talking and so Reed and I are sitting out at a fire talking until it gets so dark you can't see any of us. I'll give you a hint who disappears first. <laughs> Into yeah. the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Nighttime camouflage. All right, guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Walter. What? <laughs> that was bad. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you gotta make fun of yourself every day. Yeah, you said it, not me. See, I glow in the dark, so it doesn't know. Yeah, exactly. All right, folks, we will see you again tomorrow. Peace. Right. See you later. Peace out. <laughs>